Yo, what's good, people? Welcome back to another Deep Tempo podcast, your show dedicated to bringing you the latest and greatest in the dubstep slash 140 scene. My name's Sibo, aka the Robin Dread, and this is my co host. Mr. DJ Qatar. Snip, 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 snip. I ain't done that in ages. Snip, snip. Yeah. I just thought about it then. I don't yeah. think you've even done it season three. No, I haven't. I haven't. Snip, 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 snip. What happened to that? Talk about changing intros. I know, you'll be, yeah. You were getting mad about me changing intros. No. No, I'm, well, I'm back with it. Sorry if you, I've got dirty hands. It's because I work. I'm a grafter. You're a grafter. So I can't get it off, but hey ho. Yeah. Um, I've got a new hat, guys. Nice. Uh, you re- is it new hat day? Yeah. You got a new hat? Or is that an old hat? That's a new hat. It's a new hat. That's it's a, a new it's hat. It's a fairly recent hat. That's yeah. a good hat, bro. Really huff. Yeah. I love huff. For me, I, car I, hat and huff. I just love the cord, to be honest. That's yeah, cord's sick. You know, I wear, got... lot, I wear a lot of cords, but I, haven't, I don't double up the cord. Yeah, they've got a cord version of this, by the way. Have they? Yeah. I can't do the curly peaks. They don't, I think it's, it's just, like that, it's the dreads. Though, but it's got this just the, this ah, logo. All right. Sick. I have to look into that, bro. Waffling already. Have you got a new hat? <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, guys, uh, we're back. Season four. Season four? Season three, episode four. That's right, mate. Yeah, yeah you got that. Episode four. Um... Okay, we've got a mad show. Mad show, Saturday morning, beers already. I know, I know, we, we, we ain't, this ain't just hype, we're not, this ain't no false hype. No, this is real hype. This bro. show is stat. Stat, let me just go. Oh my God, I'm going bro. down now. <laughs> Jesus. Jeez. Uh, we're going to get into all of that. We've had a discussion, people. Um, we are going, we, we know we've, we've let the episodes creep up to three hours, right? <laughs> just silly. Um, <laughs> we, we appreciate your time. We do, we value your time. We, we, we. I think all the artists that send us tune appreciate your time as well and your support. Um, we want to get the shows closer to two hours. What so bullshit. it feels like we're, you know, if you're new, if you're only just recently started tuning into Deep Tempo, we're going to try and keep it around that two hour mark, and but still deliver you the same amount of tunes. Yeah. We're just going to be a little bit more mindful of our waffle as we're doing right now, or I should say I am. But we, we just wanted to let you know that, that, that that's kind of, that's yeah. how we see it. But we still want to bring in the news. We still want to let you know what's happening. Yeah. So before we get into all those bangers, Guys, we've got to ask you, did you check out the Rhodes Beef guest mix? <laughs> Fucking banger, mate. Bro. He smashed it. Really, really he did. good. Um, just bought, just, it was just really to show people what Rhodes Beef about. Yeah. It's, it's uh, basically like a show reel of his dubs, really, wasn't it? That's it. But like mixed if for, a, was it an hour? I think it was an hour. It was an hour, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, the what did I, call, I describe him as the the boss man bootlegger? Mm. He loves a bootleg. This and he year. kind of like didn't think he said on his message like he didn't really think of that, but it kind of makes sense. Yeah, so it did. It does make sense, it and does. he's good at that. And a lot of people I've spoke to about um, him because of that mix, I've said about oh they like his tunes. Like I think someone mentioned about his Billie Eilish remix yes. called Bootleg yeah. and stuff like that. that he's done Sydney. Yeah, it was Sydney. Mentioned. Yeah, Sydney. Big up Sydney again. She's going to freak out. She just you got her freaked out. You heard your name again. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, legend. She's been supporting us from from early. Yeah, day, early day, days, man. Day one, are really. Um, yeah, Rhodes Beef. Uh, uh, I would say, uh, particularly it seems uh, uh, stateside. You know, over the pond there uh, in Canada, of course. They're, they're big fans of the Rhodes Beef yeah, sound. Yeah. Um, he does. He brings the, those whoops. Um, and that, yeah, no, it was just it, we asked him to get on the guest mix a while back, bro. Yeah, man, he came it was a while. Um, but he's but he's come through. I know he had some equipment trouble at one point actually. That's just entered my brain. Um, but I hear he's been cooking. He's told us he's been cooking. He's been cooking. He's got some new tunes. Some new tune, um, yeah. We might get a sneak peek of it. He'll send them yet. Be listening, Mister Rhodes Beef. Yeah, um, free, man. Get them through. Can't wait to hear them. Um, but check that out. That'll be linked down below. As always, I, I smashed it with the links last show, bro. Did I didn't know? let them down. They were they were all there in the description. If I mention it, I'm gonna do it again. Um, That's good. But yeah, big up Rhodes B for coming through on that one. Producers, DJs out there, if you want to do a guest mix for us, just DM us. Just get in touch. We'll, we'll try and figure that out. We don't have a strict schedule, but we normally kind of post them out the opposite Wednesday to the show. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, other than that, what what else happened? Oh, the latest merch run come out. Uh, just got to say thanks again. I did a little story post yesterday. Got out there. I was I was meant to go earlier in the week, but I'm actually kind of glad I left it till Friday because we had orders come in that morning. Oh, that, that worked. Had an, uh, an Aussie one. So nice. Yeah, just, Big of the Australian. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm not even gonna attempt it. Or embarrass myself. Uh, but yes, Norway, Canada was it, and uh, yeah, UK as well. But big up sticker pack still online. Um, last few teachers, the the larges are low. Very low Very right low, now. Yeah. Got a, got a fairly deep, I suppose, in terms of what we had before, decent amount of mediums and XL, but the larges. Uh, if you're after one peeps, look out, go 
good copy. And thanks for your support, honestly. Always. Um, we, I, I mentioned in the story post, we, we are we are the next month or so. You can expect to hear more news about some new merch. Um, we're working on it. We're yeah, we've got, we got schemes. Ideas. It's just we all, we're very particular, aren't we? About we were, yeah, we, we said about that first merch run. Yeah, four different companies, samples, crap samples, ones that didn't work out. Various sort of jokes. Yeah, joke stuff. We want we'll make sure it's stuff we will actually wear. But now we found a supplier. Oh we're, yeah, we're going back to them. We're, we're really confident. Um, it's more about the, what we design the design we put on it now. But at least yeah. we've got the garments sorted. Yeah, we know we know, and they're good, going. and they. Yeah, they did a really good job. Tagged as well. They did a really yeah, good job of them tags. as well. <laughs> did it proper, man. Yeah. We're no messing about. And we're, trying, we're going to try and step it up in the future as well. You never know what yeah, we can bring out. Bring some new we've things. We've got ideas. New things. Just money in it. Yes. Um, but yeah, big up everyone. Look out. Month's time or so. And also, we've got to kind of talk about this, I suppose, in a... It's not, it's not out yet as we're recording, but it will be by the time the show is Yeah, out. yeah. So, um, yeah. Interview with Jay Sparrow on a Rinse FM. Rinse FM, yeah. Um, sick. It was fun. It, it was, was fun. We had some good quality. jokes on there. Um, yeah, I can't wait to hear some of the stuff back. Some of the stuff, I was like, oh, I just don't articulate myself very well. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard in those moments, isn't yeah. it? To sort of like... I wish I said other things, but... Yeah. Hey ho, you know we are, and you did a good job. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, we did think immediate, yeah. Afterwards, we didn't, uh, we didn't explain things fully or no, properly. Or it's hard. It is hard. It's way. Yeah, and you don't. You're like, oh wait, it's that again. Like you just want to flow and do it again. Like yeah. How we do the podcast, we don't, we don't edit it. We just do it. Yeah, so. rarely. Like I think three times we've cut some bits out that were for yeah. various reasons didn't. So, like we almost bulked up, you know, leaking something or. Yeah, I don't know something along those lines. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, big up Sarah. It was a lot of fun. Man. It was fun. Yeah, the um, the sort of countdown quest questionnaire at the end. Mm. Um, but that will be linked down below as well. I'm pretty sure rinse are hot on it. It'll be ready to listen back on SoundCloud by the time this shows out. More than likely, for sure. Um, so that'll be linked down below. You can go listen to that in the interviews. It's probably about forty five minutes ish. <laughs> You'd think um, so, yeah. uh, but it depends he'll, he'll be editing that down yeah you know what we're like <laughs> uh, but yeah we did it, 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 it was a lot of fun and we tried to kind of explain again sort of origins of D-Tempo didn't do a very good no, we there, there's way more to go into um, which maybe we'll, we'll cover in like some sort of longer format thing with, with other folks because we've got stuff in the, in the pipeline potentially and yep. um, we can expand on all of that yeah. Um I oh, just I just got a text message. I don't know how he managed to um how he knew about us doing the news right now. But oh, right. we might as well give him a birthday shout out. Yeah, no. James Westall. I don't know how you knew we we're doing the news, but yeah. this is the news. It's your birthday today, <laughs> nice. as recorded on Saturday. Should I pop a photo of it? Yeah, yeah, a really dodgy photo. As One well. of his funny ones. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Te- techno guy. Yeah, He's a techno head. He is a techno head. Good isn't he? vinyl DJ though. So. Yeah. Uh, you've had him before, live streamed on your. Uh, I have, yeah. Page. You can, you can go on, yeah. If you go on my cut, um, cut a DJ YouTube as well. There is a video oh, of James on there. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Um, happy birthday, mate. Yeah, happy birthday, bro. He's thirty. Yeah, thirty years old, man. Thirty, joining the thirty club, bro. You, you'll be not long after. Um, but yeah, Sparrow, big up Sparrow for having us on. <laughs> big up James Westall, birthday, bro. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's all the news. That's it. Short and sweet. Try to keep that. I think that's what ten minutes ish, maybe just below. Mate, you smashed that. Got through it. Um, yeah, not quite half an hour. So we're gonna get into these fucking tunes, Kurt. Oh God, honestly, I don't. I know we say it, but this is the one, isn't it? These tunes today. Are... I thought you were already going into the intro. I was like, yeah, no, but you know. Oh, this is one. this was one, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, the whole this is a fantastic episode yeah. of music, man. I'm like I said this to you on the show on the Rinch show about this episode is going to be fire yeah. as fuck, baby. And yeah. this is yeah, this is. We'll get into that in two secs, but yeah, yeah. Everyone, as we go along today, let us know what you're supporting. It's important to us. We, we kind of we like to know, you know, what are you feeling? What were your favorites of the show? Um, we're starting off the show today with two stunners. Yeah. Like musical stunners, beautiful. Do you know what? You could music. say even three stunners in the first three. Yes. You know what I mean? I just had to scroll down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we kind of changed the yeah. order a bit last yeah, week, this yeah. morning. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, there's some there's some heavy things yeah, yeah, coming down crazy the line. Crazy shit, man. Um, but I just love it. The, the, today feels like we're covering a lot of the 
the full spectrum of the sound. Definitely. Almost, almost. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but yeah, let us know. YouTube, SoundCloud, comment as we go along. Big up for locking in all our fam. And uh, all you that we don't see comments from, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, let us know where you're listening. Uh, Stitcher, in fact, we figured out in the in the stats is there's a little small per- percent of uh, listeners over on that app. What I've never used it. fuck is that? Stitcher. I think I'd, it's just a thing, bro. It's just a podcast just that thing. Yeah. Do we have people on Deezer? Probably. Mate, <laughs> Deezer's about Deezer, man. Deezer. That's us all about Deezer. Deezer the geezer. Deezer. Uh, Yes. Um, so all of that. Should we get into this first yes, one, bro? Let's fucking do it, man. This I'm first so one. happy, man. This first one. <laughs> what, uh, what a show this is going to be. You actually, I think you listened to this first when it come through. Definitely. Because I, I remember your message. You were like, bro, that, that clear your head tune. <laughs> yeah. Got to go listen to that. Um, Kodama. Kodama on Infernal Sounds. Infernal Sounds. Um, I would say for me... Obviously, I, I, I predominantly love, like, the wobbly stuff. And, like, mm. that's, like, you know, like, Taffa Toasting, like, mm. my favourite tune. But like, in terms of, like, one of my favourite tunes, this is up there, mate. And this is really sort of beautiful, mm-hmm. musical, just sort of really oh, just a beautiful gliding tune with some great start and second sections, different in both, like, for an, uh, the first and the second yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. But sort of gets a little bit wilder, but in the sort of, more of a sort of way. It's kind of, you know what I mean? It, just, what I mean? it kind of escalates. Yeah, it, kind of, it is just... It's a journey of a tune, man. Beautifully done. And yeah. I think it is the Clear Your Head EP, yeah. is it? Yeah, it's the Clear Your Head yeah, EP. Yeah, I think it is, even though it's number three on the list. But yes. Yeah. Which is, they do that, though, don't they? Yeah, they do. Um, yeah, it's on Infernal Sounds for their digital. This won't be on vinyl, unfortunately, but... Yeah. I, oh, I said this to you, like, maybe yeah, this... Infernal Sounds, like, after COVID and this is done, they could do, like... A vinyl of some of their best digital releases. I'm putting on one vinyl. I was thinking similar to what Duplock done with the select stuff, yeah. where they've got like, uh, like almost like a compilation of. Yeah. Or they could do like a, yeah, maybe it's like an end of the year thing where it's like the best of the, the best of the digi releases. Um, yeah, all mixed up. So obviously because they started with uh, Carnage on the yeah. digi on the digi that was which we sick. enjoyed. And this um, this would have this tune would have to be on there. It's incredible. For me, it's impeccable. It would it would be Kod- Kodama at his at his finest. Yeah, um, Barcelona. Yeah. Is there any more Spanish? I was thinking this the other day. Is there any more Spanish um, producers in our scene that I can think of? Um, there probably is. I'm sure there is. But it's, it's they're not coming to my head. But yeah. he is definitely the, the, uh, always at fe- always at fear at um, putting the the Portuguese lot in the in the scene. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. This you know. Hurting some feelings there. Free WA, but like, yeah, what you yeah. <laughs> Which you don't want to do, you know? Something. Nah. Um, but yeah, uh, Kodama at his finest. Yeah, this is beautiful, man. Um, yeah, there is a there is a, um, a collab with Suka on oh, this yeah, as we well. Oh, yeah, um, The first track, Older. I f- believe Monk put that in a, a mix like two years ago. So that is quite old. Oh, really? uh, and Bad Blood is the other. Mm-hmm. Should we get into this one, mate? Should we just start playing this ting tong? Ting tong. Your head. Stunner. Yeah. That's good. Beautiful. I'm going to play quite a lot of this actually because mm-hmm. we kind of need to. Thank you. 
it's just uh, amazing. It is just incredible. I don't mean it's just it's one of them you get lost in. We say yeah. it, you just you just put it in that category. You appreciate it. And you you just enjoy it. Straight um, up, straight up, mate. I've had days at work where you're like, "Fuck, I'm stressed as fuck," and I start mixing. I always come. I always start with this because it's just fuck it. It clears your head. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> clears your head. Clear your head. We, we all need a bit of that. I, I do wonder where it's been inspired by sort of recent events. Maybe it's been made within the last year or so. Yeah, um, I feel like sure. there's, there's quite a bit. I feel like there's an influ- a Spanish influence in that tune. Yeah, big as time. well, which big is time. nice to see. And the, I don't know why I said the keys, the strings. It sounds mm. like been time stretched. Like I just don't know how he, he's done that and made it feel still, like it just works like rhythmically. Yeah, and like melodic. Like he, there's just certain artists like him who just think they're just on that yeah. level, and I don't know. Quality, man. I don't know how they sit down to write a track and even. <laughs> start there or think what 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 was the sample the 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 sound design the piece the i don't know the bit of instrument that inspired them to go off yeah. in, in that direction um mm. stunning though and I just need more just more I, I'm, I'm more 140 like this yeah yeah just like, I'm, I'm i'm here for we, there's, there's other artists in the same vein yeah our man yeah one, the, the shower man the shower man yeah. always coming with these uh yeah these beautiful vibes but uh <laughs> yeah kodama Top of top, he's up, he's up there for, yeah. for that that style for sure. I just yeah, if you want to, guys, let's know what you think of that. We started off with a stunner there, it's man. Beautiful. Um, if you don't know about Kodama, his name is in the description down below. Track list is there on YouTube, tags and all that. I'll make I'll go to the effort of doing that. I hope it helps. Uh, SoundCloud as well. Um, but he's on Instagram, Kodama Dub. You'll see the spelling of his name down there in the description. On SoundCloud, it's Kodama with hyphens in between the letters. Um, but yeah, just have, go go follow him if you if you if you love a bit of that that kind of sound. Um, check out the rest of them. Older Bad Blood, uh, the Suka collab as well uh, from Atlantis. Uh, might as well mention it. We got Ben Jack on the uh, on the artwork. Since uh, that's down here on the notes, and also Hebe mastered. Mm. Mastering a lot of the tracks that yeah, lately, he's, man. he's on. I feel like him traces, of course, the the other classics, Ten Eight Seven. Um, oh, there. I bet Ten Eight Seven got some dubs, man. <laughs> Trust. <laughs> they got the uh, most dubs in the world, man. <laughs> Trust. Uh, but yeah, that was Kodama. Infernal sounds. Just putting out stupid bits, uh, cracking on yeah. regardless of the vinyl delays and some of the uh, stress that there yeah. is for labels with that at the moment because of the. The COVIDs. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, uh, 5th of March, if we didn't say that. We're dropping a lot of March releases in this show. Um, so get ready, maybe get your diary out. And uh, we'll say right now, I'm not going to tie the artist, but their next one is a fucking sick as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's sick. Infernal Sounds next one. Yeah. Yes. Um, That'll be April, so probably either the next episode or the episode after you hear that from us. Yes, indeed. Um... From that stunner to another one that... Uh, yeah, I haven't heard this, bro. You're going to be reacting yeah, to, man. bro. I was happy to do so. This one come in last minute, late last night. Um, I was already meant to be in bed. I was putting my head down at about uh, one o'clock. Just getting ready for bed. Brush my teeth. <laughs> Got my PJs on. Got my hot water bottle up now, dude. <laughs> Fucking waffle central. I'm joking. Just whining. Um, I took a step. Another step. Uh, up the stairs. Yeah. Up the stairs. <laughs> what is it? No, I can't even waffle. Remember that book? The skeleton down the long, dark stairs. You know, skeleton books you used to read in primary school. What were they called? Don't know, bro. Oh, it's fucking funny. You're a different era to me. Trust. Different. Year. <laughs> One year. One school year. You know, uh, going on like you went to school with fucking VR classes or something. <laughs> Um, I'm 18 years old. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, you act like it. <laughs> yeah, true that. True that. True that. True that, bro. Um, yeah. yeah, this this done. I dropped in last night. We just, we just had to get it in. Um, hopefully, it doesn't push the show too long. Crowbar and yet another tune in, but um, had to be done. Uh, anime, sick. Okay. Okay. I really, really, really want. To, I'm excited to hear the first time feature on the show. Yeah. Yes, it is. Um, and about time, really. Yeah, boy. We did get in the her track tigers remix um by youngster and day zero i believe it was 130 i think 130 so. something it wasn't Possibly. A, it wasn't but you know 
140 ish um but it came i think it came in a bit late that one and just how the shows worked out we never managed to get in which i was good about you should definitely go and check that track out um but we're bringing you a brand new one um by her that is coming out on the 3rd of march the track is called island there's also going to be um the instrumental for this track and uh, an lx1 remix which is dropping on the, the remix is dropping on the 17th oh, okay so, but the original is dropping as a single on the 3rd of march with the instrumental though or i'm not sure about the instrumental i imagine maybe not okay. they could come out get that remix time. Yeah. yeah it might come out with the remix too um but yeah the anime she's a, a vocalist yeah known for for collabing um with various artists in the scene i suppose over yeah. the years we were talking about it earlier you, you showed me yeah um this is dubstep 2014 Classic. yeah shall i grab uh, one of the old ones look? yeah you've got I've you got, haven't got 14 i haven't got 14 got... man but i got the this is my favorite one this is dubstep one volume one yeah. and then you got two and this is basically number three it's just called 2011 nice um but yeah what, this wait, is was that two nine that, or ten then must have been yeah uh 2010. Yeah, because they. Co- I remember them coming out in quick succession when they yeah, first they, did, they banged yeah. in there. Yeah, and this one, it was that one? That's 2010 as well. Mm. And this one, obviously, is 2011. It's by Dark Side, of course. Yeah, uh, if you if you get a chance, honestly, go and listen yeah, to this. If you haven't. It's basically, if you can get the CD, the, the CD's like a mix, so it rolls into each other. Mm-hmm. It is fucking brilliant. And the first two tracks, Joker, and it goes into Distance, is radical. I love that. Yes. Um... Yes, no, yeah, we mentioned anime. So she was on the 2014 edition, um, which uh, Wayfarer Reflections was the track. Uh, yeah, yeah, vo- sure, she yeah. did the vocals for Stunning Voice. Um, and you know, I, I suppose in terms of the vibe, just this track, if, you know, if you were proper digging that Dutchy track changes that we brought you, oh, is it in that vein? Um, but I suppose just the 140 with some soul yeah. vein is what we're talking here. Uh, and I'm all here for it. We're here ready. We're here and we're ready and waiting to yeah. support anything we can on on this tip. To be honest, because I just I want to see more of it. I want I'd love to see more of it. That Dutchy track got hella love in the shitty dubstep group on Facebook. Did we, yeah, that was yeah. I've seen it not just there, but posted around on other social platforms. And um, the reaction to it on our show itself when we dropped the clip. Um, uh, it's not just about female vocalists, you know. When I talk about 140 with some soul, uh, soul, soul. It's all right. Um, you tried. <laughs> volume A. Remember, like we we spoke about it, the guys. Malta. Yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. Um, bought out on that Malta label, which we haven't had stuff from yet no. uh, since, I should say. Um, but yeah, 140 with some soul, man. These these first few tracks have got all got a little bit of that. Yeah, that's what we're trying. Um, yeah. But uh, anime. Um, again, it's A N I M. AI just in the description below if you want to go um find her i'll double check her instagram i think it's anime music this one it's the original you've loaded up right the original uh, yeah yeah so they're all they're all 140 even though obviously the lx1 remix is but um the original we're gonna play this one through bro, quite yeah quite way through all the way through yeah because uh yeah stunning but like we do with kadama then yeah sound all right ready let's go
Imagining myself at Fabric last tune, yeah, bringing it down last set with that tune, man. I know what you're saying. That's sick. That vocal's brilliant. That's a catchy tune as well. Yeah, I like the 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 lyrics in it. Drifting. Mm. Go on, give some lyrics, bro. You're the one with the vocals. Come on, man. Um, stunning. Oh, I make goosebumps when her lyrics drop. Yeah, that that bit there, man. That section, just yeah. Like I said, there was no. she sent it last night, like one in the morning. I said to her, I'll, I'll pop it because this is, I pop it on my monitors in the morning. I'm not, I'm not going to play it through my phone or on my laptop, which was already shut down anyway. Um, so yeah, I popped it on and I was like, fucking hell, got to get it in. You see why I had to get that yeah, in, right? Yeah, that's quality. Um, if you don't know about anime, um, then certainly go and follow her. Um, I said her name earlier. It's anime music on Instagram. She should be tagged in the clip. Um, but also you can find her on Spotify. If you want to go listen to that, that tune I mentioned, the Wayfair one from This Is Dubstep. Um, she's got the Tigers track, that Youngster and Day Zero remix that I mentioned. Um, there's another couple. She released another one last year in 2020. It was like, I apologize, it's got something close in the name, something like it. it's a stunner as well. Um, but not all 100% 140. Um, but just stunning man you yeah. need so much more of this in the 140s fully fully so done, much man. more of it we've got a couple of vocalists like this but not not enough no. really and when i think of yeah i i don't personally in our scene i don't think of a of a vocalist who is really you know when i think of a, a scene or a, a genre and a voice that kind of once they dominated it but you, it's just like synonymous you know yeah. personally not yet I mean, a lot of MCs, a lot of lyricists for a time and an era, um, and but there are there are a few of these um, female, I should say, yeah. vocalists. We mentioned with Duchy. There's also um, people going to wet their pants right now because neither of us can ever say her name. Um, the one that Truth has collabed with a lot. Le- Le- <laughs> yeah. How the how would you say her name? Le- Le- I do Le- apologize. Yeah, we need to find out. Really, I don't. I don't even want to try and. You know, it begins with an L and yeah. it's like a J in there. We somewhere. can just never say it right. I'm not even. Yeah, gonna, not even gonna. <laughs> and of course, Kiva as well is another one that's. Doing yeah, that but she's well. coming with more of that. The bit, a little bit, yeah. Um, I think she can sing a bit, can she? But I mean, she's coming more with. Yeah. With some rapping, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think thought she she's can. she's got that. Um, yeah, just that that wonky style, man. It's sick. Yeah, it's sick. Um, but also, I mean, like the fellas as well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of, you know, when I think of drum and bass, 
I think of uh, Diane Charlemagne, RIP, worked with, worked with Goldie, uh, worked with Caliber, like those tune like if i think if i think of drum and bass um just her her voice synonymous if i think about vocal led stuff diane china main if you don't know about her and you love drum and bass r.i.p absolute legend um you should go check out any tunes her vocals is blessed um so yeah anime dutchy I was going to even know just can't say name. Um, <laughs> there's, probably, there's probably many more out there who else let us know who, who are your favourite vocalists to touch tracks um, to bless us uh, we should mention the anime producer as well that track the original uh, is that her yeah 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 that's, that's, good. that's it's, Alex One has done the remix of yeah. it's, uh, I just want to clarify oh, that's that sick. Um, st- I'm, crisp I'm, crisp yeah, talk man. about from a production standard I know but it's just because her vocal is it's wicked the mix on that track. Oh, does she make? Do, well, you might not know this, but does she make like wonky dubstep as well, or like just sort of like so. your typical? I've not seen anything. I, I reckon she should try, but give it a bash. We, mate. we, we, we will definitely. I think this came in one in the morning. We're obviously already knew and aware of her. We've got tracks. We've got that Tigers track, like for instance, in our record box, um, but and, and previous, um, but yeah. We'll, we, 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 we need to learn more I believe, oh, you know, man. and uh, let you know what it's about if you want to go follow her <clears throat> anime music on Instagram uh, you can find her on Spotify I'm not sure she has a SoundCloud page I did a quick search didn't come up quickly um, but have a dig around uh, she's got a link tree link there anyway in her yeah, Instagram bio there. you can probably go follow her on all the on all the things she's got an island pre-save link there which i imagine is for spotify on her instagram go and do that um thanks for sending that one through uh, i'm so glad we got that one in last minute one that hasn't been last minute oh no moving on to the next one cutter uh we've been sat on this one for a while yeah like uh, long long time we got tom yeah uh, albion collective yeah, it's uh, good to be back with the albion yes very good they did just smash it, Albion. Yeah, they quality. Every time. Every single release, man. Um, yeah, Yuffie. Yuffie. <laughs> Bro, Yuffie. I've, I've already gushed about this guy's. Yeah. His musical background, isn't it? It's yeah, just, jazz. He's, yeah. In, I, he's in a band that I believe is called like the Yuffie. Not Yuffie. His real name. <laughs> the Yuffie. We'll call him. No, yeah. <laughs> the Yuffie. No, it's like, what's his real name? I, I, I apologise, bro. Like, produce. Uh, yeah. It's his real name, like it's like the something band, do you know what I mean? Um, jazz background, just you, you hear it, you hear it in his music. Um, but just on a percussion drum level, everything so far that this guy's put out on a 140 tip is just it's amazing. And he's so unique with his 140 music, yeah. Like, that's... you know, it's a Yuffie track, yeah. You don't get that as much anymore because obviously, there's so many producers, yes. You might get it with, say, Booker's Finest, mm-hmm. you might get it with Yuffie. Um, I could say Truth to a point, um, yeah. no, there, there, there yeah. are a bunch, yeah, that are up there, but you know, you're talking more that's where you know, Truth and them and then and that mm. kind of vein, yeah, they're all established. You know what I mean, they've been yeah. around for a long time, I think, for newer producers oh, entering yeah. the 140 scene for them to kind of come in and do something that that's makes everyone go what are you yeah what's that's that mad. what's that bro <laughs> everyone's sharing it on socials everyone's going yeah oh. you know and you know people you know people are going to be taking inspiration from it and but that as long as that's a compliment yeah I mean, for sure like, when, when when you see people take inspiration from you know his sort of off kilter uh, just sort of yeah, just the percussion, just the yeah. It's, no, it's, when it's you watch a jazz it? artist, just freestyle, and they're just well, they're just they're just feeding off each other, just going off, just doing their yeah. thing. I love it. I've been, I've been to I've actually been to a couple proper, proper jazz little lounges, you know, oh, yeah. and enjoyed the jams. Oh, in, just, in Birmingham, well, in London actually. London, right. yeah. Not been not. Well, uh, what's, there is one place in Rome that I probably should have ought to have got to, but never. I'm never sure there's did, stuff you know? even around Digbuff, like they've got little clubs and stuff. In yeah, there and in popping. the uh, in the jewelry quarter, there's a yeah. few more of those kind of we'll keep bars that will have those artists <laughs> on you. Know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> rare, man, I'm ready. Just for thinking Yuffie, about bro, it, you're shoulders, wobble. Like Trust me, <laughs> uh, Yuffie's a bad man. Uh, yeah, I, I'm so glad he's here. Um, this one, vinyl, of course, it's getting pressed. 300 copies, I believe. The pre-orders out. I think you can go and pre-order this I think, boy right now. Yeah, because it's on his... I got that information from his SoundCloud, so it must be... Yeah. Um, 19th of March is the official release date. And um, 
Yeah, um, Berlin based. Yeah, Berlin. Yeah, um, I feel like I was late to learn that. I don't oh. know. I don't know when it was, but uh, when it when it clocked, I was like, oh. Mm. I, knew, don't know why. Yeah, I think I knew from when he was on like um when he sort of and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah, maybe I'll mention it and forgot. Yeah, Sub Garden, man. Big old rock lemon. It's a bad over. Yeah, it's been a while actually. Um yeah. It's good. Yeah, what? yeah. But I'll say that they're both pushing their thing and they rock lemon. Yeah, rock lemon's on the, on the um, stream. Stream, yeah, man. Fair play. Doing his bit. Brilliant. Uh, but yeah, you got just more love to all these to Albion, to Sub Garden, to these these you know, these sort of labels. You know, just putting out stuff like bringing new names. You know, new and yeah. newer names to uh to the fore for us all to latch on to, man. Um, you, I think we should get into it. We're gonna yeah. play. We're gonna play the B two, right? Yeah, man. Um, make you believe. I think most people are gonna have heard and seen um seek a move. I mean, yeah, that's probably the one that everyone's gonna go for in a yeah, like, favorite. But this is actually your favorite B2. B2 is my yeah. favorite. Yeah. Seek so you can move, just just just, just mm. edge it for me. But I mean, uh it's I just love his production that it's tr- yeah, top it's to bottom. Top to bottom. Also, you got uh Janka as well. Janka? Janka, yeah. I hope Janka. I'm saying that right. Um on the B one. Uh, but we're gonna yeah we're gonna play Make You Believe. Uh let's go. Let's go man. Absolute love that. Um, yeah. Wow, this three, these three tracks we've had so far, bro. Yeah, they bro. are something else. Uh, I've been playing around with this one a lot. You one, I know you it. Have, I know actually. it. I know I mean, it. You've, fucking you've given getting you out a sample. Yeah, yeah. You know, a sample of what you've been. Yeah, what you've been doing with the knobs, bro. <laughs> um, it's just it's beautifully done. Drums again, sick. Yeah. Piano keys, whatever you want to call them, fucking sick. The keys, man. They 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 are. Uh, this was, well, I'm, I'm kind of really glad that we that this is your favorite and just yeah happy to push for it because it's you know it's, it is just sick the whole EP 
th- those keys are something I can hear in like an old, like the intro to an old Spike Lee film or something. They're just, it's movie-esque, but not in, not in like a crazy, not like a high cinematic way, just in like a, I don't know, like for a certain type of film, do you know what I mean? That's like yeah. harking back to a certain era. I feel like we've said something similar about Yuffie about films before on a previous mm-hmm. show, I believe, yeah. Because it makes it's sense, just man. his he's, his style, isn't man, it? Yeah, man's fucking with jazz at the end of the day, man. Like, he's, he's like we said, it's so unique. You know, it's a Yuffie track. Those drums are beautifully done. The keys are beautifully done. Yeah, I'm having a hard time. Uh, this is our Instagram needs to go suck a cock, man. It's so <laughs> annoying. It's changed the thing, the search yeah. algorithm again. You can't get anyone that you follow to yeah. come up when I you. I don't want to listen to you long, people, yeah. or whatever the fucking come just, up with. Just bring up the people that I follow when I'm. When, oh, come on. Instagram's annoying these days anyway, and you have to pay for fucking everything to get any reach anymore. It's like, it's ruining us, man. It's absolutely ruining We're ruining everyone. Try to do this, this man's goddamn justice here. Uh, Mate, imagine if we did the show, like, when Instagram just started. Yeah. Mate, you, you, people, the algorithm was so good for everyone then. But how old we would have been? It would have been like 10 years ago, wouldn't it? Yeah, bro. It would have been no need because there was like mm. their heads. I say that, no need. <laughs> um, But yeah, no, Yuffie, he's just, yeah, I, I just can't wait to hear, I can't wait to hear more. I feel like, it, I know like, yeah, we've had a few bits, but it's so early for him yet. So early. Like he's, he's an artist already or like, Imagine an album project from him. Imagine the spectrum of sounds you he would hear. Yeah. It has to happen one day. Yeah. What is on my head? That's a hair. <laughs> you, got, you got a long hair, bro. Yeah, it's annoying. Is it coming out of your fresh hair? Yeah. But yeah, an album from Yuffie would be phenomenally done, I think. Yeah. I'm, I'm interested to see or learn why he has come down the 140 route as well and like what is his influences and... You know where his background is. Maybe, yeah. maybe an interview with him would be well, like mega. Really, to hear good. about his yeah, definitely like musical upbringing where his parents. You know, yeah, I, yeah. Because I kind of like, I mean, I'm just you presuming, but a lot of my friends that are that are into the sort of you know jazz, classical. They've got they've got a lot of parent. They've got Influ- parental influence. Yeah, man. You know, I don't know. No, I don't think I've come across many who've just sort of, sort of fallen into it. Mm. But we need it, man. Like the new gen, like bringing that new style, that new flavor, twisting it or bringing other influences in. It's awesome, and I wonder. I do wonder does does he does he dabble in other genres other than like, he could, outside of? He could have a different alias for it, but we don't know about. Mm, maybe there is other artists we know about who do yeah. that. <laughs> if you want to find him on Instagram, anyway, guys, it's mo underscore yufi. Again, yufi is under. Is in the description. Uh, Mo underscore Mo, Yuffie. Um, yeah, Berlin based. Just what else would you say, man? They're coming with sick. it. Coming with it. One for the future. What about them stunners, bro? Starting the show. Do we have gone in with the stunners, bro? With them stunners. Um, we have got a couple more like stunnery tunes as well, I suppose. We have, but we're getting I mean, we're getting a bit heavier. We're gonna now. go heavier. We're yeah, I heavy. see you. Yeah, we've got some heavy shit. Bro. Um, nineteenth of March, that one for Yuffie Albion Collective. Um, if you want to go support it, go do that, people. Um, I think that I actually I do think that vinyl is gonna be hot property, man, because Yuffie is getting a lot of respect from a yeah. lot of producers, man. Um, next up. Yeah, boy. Bruh. You love this one. Um, yeah. You love this one. Bro. One of this, one of them producers who, uh, yeah, the shady man, them, the one I keep, yeah, it's like, where's his face, man? Who is this geezer? What tunes he popping off? Nova. Yeah, man. Fucking hell. Oh, wait. Um, that one. But he did say he's a young cat. We, we, t- we say this every time we've got him on the show, but he's, oh, he's got, he's oh, got he, I need to know who he is. He's got, he's got to be coming out soon. I, th- I swear he said he's, he's, he was almost 18 or, or just turned 18 or something. Must who, who, where did you learn this information? He he met one time in the DMs when we featured him and we were like, who oh, is maybe. he or something? Or he commented like, I'm not, I swear. Or was it someone else? Just saying how young he is, making, making it. I don't I'm know. pretty sure it was him saying that he's not actually old enough to go out yet. He was 17. T- maybe he's having us on, man. Was, that's what I was saying. That like, you're having us on, bro. Fucking like Chrome style or something. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, it wouldn't be Chrome. Would just do this stuff and do it. Yeah, but I know what you mean. It'd be like 
Yeah, I don't know. Because, he, yeah, he's had, he's had releases on Southside, Dubstar, on a bear. Like, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's spread about, actually. Yeah. Uh, Foundation Audio. He's got property, yeah, mate. Rambo. Yeah, he is. He is indeed, man. Um, collabs, like, galore. He's been on... He's been... Um, in fact, he's done a lot of uh, guest mixes for radio shows yes. lately. He did one with Neffa T recently. Yeah, I listened to that when I was at the, the gym, which yes. is actually the bars down the road. Sick. <laughs> Everyone was like, this guest mix from Nova. I've seen someone else comment on it on social. Nova's sick, man. He's, he's smashing it up as well. Um, yeah, Romulus Records. Yeah, back again. Well, back, back, back not again. finally. Back <laughs> is what we should say. Big up the yeah. catchy. Yeah, man. It's, it's been, been a while. long time. This is a vinyl release as well. It as is, always, man. Is artwork is sick. Yeah, I don't think I've seen the artwork. Have you not? No. Hey, um, it's sick, and he's like for the like the promo videos for it as well. He's like using all these like anime footage and stuff. Which sick. I'm about that. Um, but yes, Romulus, nineteenth of February. This one's out. So if you're feeling it, guys, you can just you can go get it right now. Um, it's a this this project is just mad. Um, five tracks. You've got uh, Ghosted with Sole. 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 Uh, Glisten, Win Your Back. Then you've got Glisten Remix by Soma. You know how much I love that. You look so, yeah. You know He's got pictures much. of posters on the wall <laughs> of his house. Honestly, you walk in the front door, Soma's face. Soma's face. Soma's face. <laughs> Honestly, it's getting a bit weird. That's, that's <laughs> lie. I have got his vitals, though. I have got his vinyl releases. He's, uh, I'm joking, he hasn't. Uh, so win your back. Next time you see Sam, I'm like, <laughs> fuck you, man! Fucking weirdo. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, win your back, um, Medum remix as well. Um, is that the one we're playing? Whatever, I don't know, man. We haven't really picked. I thought you said we were playing. I, I was just saying, like, that could be one because you said about, I, we haven't played his stuff, but. Yeah, I'm sure. So. Is it one or two of these? The Sakari Sound Girls have had a couple of these tunes in the bag for a long time. I'm pretty yeah. sure that they've been in. Um, well, that was probably one thing we should have said in the couple of them. It's the, in, the intro about Sakari Sound we forgot about, but oh well. Oh, the news of yeah. yeah. I, I, swear, I mean, I would expect. I would hope. You know, they don't. They don't. Really, like, we've yeah. mentioned it with the tunes and everything, and they don't need any help. Yeah. Pushing the news out from us, but we are, we should mention while we're here, while we've arrived at it. Yeah. Try not to waffle too long. But yeah, um, just we, we, we're sad. We're yeah, sad, sad to hear that, you know, that this this is going to be their last year as Sicarius Sound. Yeah. Um, but we've got to thank them just for everything they've brought to the Absolutely. scene. For the sets, the moments. Like we spoke about, like from the early, like the Medi Nights when they were, you know, warming up the sessions. And because we, we're one, we've always been one of them, man, they first in, last out. Yeah. That's we're we're there for we the are. whole night. We buy a ticket for an event. We're, we're like first in the queue as well. That's it. Like, we're like, like for real. Yeah. No shame. Like we ain't them students trying to get, you know, trying to have a ten pound night challenge, trying to drink as much before we get to the venue because we kind of thought no, nah. we we, 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 we're spend, there. we spend silly money on our. <laughs> we have like cans in our back pockets because yeah. we can't be asked to go bar. <laughs> it depends on the venue. Well, that's fabric. If you yeah, if you have to leave like the, mm. the the vibes to go and get a drink, then I'll I'll happily put a little one of them little cans like like this size in my back pocket. Yeah, the so bags that... will work for now because you got the crossbody bag. Stick a couple in there. Oh, what you in the man bag? Yeah, the man bags. Yeah, yeah the car out bags. Yeah, I haven't got any of them. Man, you need to. Yeah, you look sick in that. You know, you yeah. look beautiful. I fancy I, I might, a bit. I might get pulled over and more than that, and it's necessary looking like a shotter. <laughs> <laughs> Dreads is enough reason as it know. is. Yeah, maybe weed shotter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any more. We both took a sip of drink, yeah, at the same time. Um, but yeah, we'll go back to Nova, man. Nova, big up the Sky Sound Girls, man. Uh, yeah. But Nova, Romulus, yeah, like I said, just good to have Romulus back. Um, pushing these massive tracks. I wonder how long they've had them signed actually mm. and in the bag. Uh, maybe he's been working towards this being a, a, a big vinyl release as well. Um, I don't know how many is getting pressed of this, but I'd, again, it's going to be hot property, man. Um, 12-inch heavyweight vinyl for the uh, the uh, the five tracks. I imagine, so it's A1 to A3, those tracks, and then B1 and B2. So I wonder if, I wonder how, like, what split that is, if what, two and three. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know how they're going to break that down. Um, but yeah, not, not 100% sure either on how many have been pressed. I, I would presume, I'm going to say 300 uh, for Romulus. Um, but yeah. Finished off, you get an A3 movie poster. Sick, man. Annotation uh, of the EP cover as well. So trust me, go check out the artwork. Um, 
If you purchase purchase of the records via their Bandcamp, includes the digitals of this one. Sick, man. Um, in a format of your choosing. Nice. Um, so, yeah. Are we, are we going to win you back, Medum Remix? Yeah, go on, let's do it. Yeah, yeah it's Medum cool. Remix, man. Let's right. do it. Me too. A lot of people would have heard Ghosted anyway. Yes, big yeah. Must be surely so. Pretty sure, yeah. yeah, that was the one that Scarlet had in the back. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it was in their, not their first boy there. I'm trying to think if it made the second, if it was in that second Maybe. boy there, but I'm not sure it was. I think it might have been via just on their, obviously, very popular Rincho. Um, Maybe. But yeah, Wing Your Back, Medum Remix, um, of Nova's. Yeah. Romulus release. Done tune, a beautiful yeah. tune. Rom, it's very Romulus as well. That is their style for that sure. That is their vein. That's why yeah. I think, in terms of um, Nova's production, because he is he is uh, way more versatile than I think I sort of say giving credit for. Like I, it's not like we mentioned on the show, but I think from when we first initially latched onto his sound, um, it's a bit more 
what be he, yeah because he's he's got stuff he's got some wonky stuff oh man. yeah that's some they always said that duck block one which we didn't feature which we should have yeah it's fucking mad uh, on the selects yeah on one of the select ones yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah i think it, yeah i mentioned the um southside dub star releases because yeah. that's in their vein um yeah and and then his other more i suppose the bouncy style um mm. with the the somar collabs he's had um, but yeah, this one Romulus all over. Um, just you listen to the uh, Romulus key push takeover. Yeah, um, that with uh, Hella um, cartridge, Kikechi. that that vein with that. Yeah, the, that. that looked fun, man. I really like. Wish I was like down there, like, oh, no. Bristol of those times. Like I, I always go on them, and see like people I know from the scene. Yeah, yeah, that's oh. what we watch. I'm like, shit, man. Huh? Always notice oh, them, God. yeah. Um, FYI, when when this whole Rona bitch is over with, we ain't turning down any movements. Nah, <laughs> any man. we're going to everything. Because <laughs> like we, I mean, we, we kind of made that Medi just event just happen like last minute. So lucky, we made it happen, but like it very nearly didn't happen. And like if we had not done that, like and not known, obviously yeah. none of us knew that we wouldn't go to another event for a year. It's going to be longer than a year by the time we do get back because we're we're like eleven and a half we're nearly months up in to a year, yeah. <laughs> uh, since we went to our last event. So yeah, any movements out there? Any any event promoters? I mean, regardless of booking us, you want to book us, you can book us. But we're going to be documenting the scene. We're going to be here attending their nights. Yeah. So invite us. Let us and know we, it's happening and we in can advance have a drink so your... that we can. Yeah, we could just. We can conversate. We can support your night. We can announce it on the show. We're attending. We well, yeah, that. yeah, we could book Nova because he's a bad man. Book Medum. Big up on that remix. Sick. Um, nice yeah, welcome back. Nineteenth of February. So I think is that the only one of the show that's out now? Um, possibly. Possibly. There might be another one. Actually. One more. Um, but yeah, you if you want to go support it, guys, you can go and do that right now by Romulus's Bandcamp. You will get the digis. And uh, yeah, why not? Check out those other tracks. You'll recognize them, um, two of them especially. You would have heard them out there in the mixes. Um, Nova as well, before we move on quickly. Um, Instagram, you have to replace the O for an X. You will find him, Nova underscore underscore. Um, but the O is an X. And also Medem as well, who we just featured there. That's just got his real name on Instagram. Um, Raphael. Trevidic. Dot Trevid. Dot Trevidic. Dot Trevidic. Yeah. yeah. Where's he probably from, probably then? butchering that. Um, Montreal. Montreal. Oh. Is that oh, what just, just sitting there, look, it says Medem Montreal, Canada. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> Maybe. Montreal French speaking. Yeah. Mm. Quebec. The, Fre- the French side of uh, Canada. Yeah. I believe. Probably That's pretty mad camera. when you think about it, isn't it? Like Canada and they speak French. Like when you think, like it's what? Yeah, but it's like <laughs> I was about to say half of Africa, but it's not quite half. But they, do, I mean, it's close well, Africa, them, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they yeah, French. they speak French, don't they? That's yeah. mad. So to my, in, in the world, it's English, French, and Spanish, which is the dominant is it, languages. They, what? Oh, really? I didn't know. That. Yeah, no. think of South America or the Spanish. Yeah, oh. could, I mean, a lot of them have dialects. You know they have there's there's yeah. what there's slight differences in the in yeah in slang and all, all that kind of stuff and um but yeah they for, for I think the broad part from my limited understanding they can they can understand each other That's just That's colonialism at its finest bruh yeah we're a language <laughs> podcast now <laughs> yeah that's what we are bruh um, Nova Romulus nineteenth of February next up. Next up, Kota. What is it? Next up. Now, what is it, man? You tell me now what it is, bruv. Bruh, we have... I'm going to talk like any type, innit? <laughs> We've got a dub plate special. We've got a dub plate special, bruv. Um, yeah. <laughs> What's up? <that? laughs> uh, where's Kota? Where is he? <laughs> uh, I was all in the van, end type, but I couldn't answer the fact. <laughs> yeah. Um, end type. A Chrome Star, you probably see him. This is big, man. It is this is huge, huge, man. Huge. Um, dog plate special we're discussing here, people. Um, we featured New Era. We did back in the dub. Well, not long ago. Um, back. I'm gonna say yeah, last season obviously. 
Um, yeah, man. Yeah, which was obviously on Chrome and Type's new label, yeah. joint venture. Yeah, um, Chrome and Type Recordings, I believe. That's the full official title of the label. Um, but yeah, and Type and Chrome Star coming together. Um, to just sort of, I suppose, sample some classic sounds. Um, ones that I kind of got wrong when I mentioned the new era dub last time. <laughs> kind of mentioned the tunes that I've also sampled the same. Yeah. Like bits. Same original sample. But I, I said they sampled the, the drum and bass track. Yeah. The Pascal P, uh, new P Funk era. I believe it is. Is that the right yeah. way? But they actually, it was the sample goes back obviously further than that. They sample from somewhere, which is most of the case. I mean, look at hip hop. Most of it, you'll find a drum beat from the seventies. That is essentially what everyone yeah. has done. If you any any breaks, all of that, you music heads know. Uh, but yeah, end type, Chrome Star, dub plate. If you want this one, yeah, you've got to email them. It's, yeah, it's yeah. not getting an official release. Um, it's never coming out officially. I think N Type said to me yesterday they'll press fifty max of these, absolute max and vinyl only. You will only get the vinyl. Um, New Era Dub VIP. Mad. Um, I'm not gonna say A side. I don't think they're doing it A and B, but one side, and then um, on the B side, who that jazz. Um, no digis. Except for yours truly. <laughs> Big up and type of <laughs> star for that one. Big up the absolute legends. legends uh, man. Yeah, I thought we just we ended, yeah, up, go ended up in a phone conversation yesterday. And type was I messaged him, I was like, What's what's going on with this dub plate then, bro? <laughs> <laughs> and uh he was messaging, but he was just like, Look, I'm I'm just in the car, I'm on the way to I'm on the way to a Chrome's. I was like, Oh, all right. And then he messaged me back when he was when he got there and then I think they're working on some some new stuff and some beats and the, and cleaning up these things, and uh, yeah, we did, we just had a joke conversation for about 10, 15 minutes, and it? it's the first time I properly got to chat to Chrome Star. We've chatted to obviously we chat with Ento, spoke about it before yeah. we were in a group, because that's how we just keep up to date with the wheel and deal stuff. Um, but yeah, these two together, man, just doing mm, bits. Do I good, can't yeah. wait for what else is to come because. I mean, I'm getting the plate myself. I, I'm, I'm, regardless of the fact that it's sent to these, I want that piece of yeah, history. These tracks, uh, I mean, and, and the sounds and samples to me, they mean a lot to me. So there's, there's nostalgia to it, you know? Um, so if you do want it, you have to email chrome and type at gmail.com. Um, I don't know how it's going to work on a first come, first serve basis. If they get more than 15, I, I guess then there's going to have to be some confirmation of payment, something along those lines. Maybe end type, I think. He said he was going to sweat out later. Maybe he'll email the first 50 folks back and give them a date by which to pay for. You'll have to figure it out. Don't 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 sleep on this one day. If you want it straight, if you want it, then then basically pause the video and do it right now. You ain't even heard the tune yet. Or else you might but, but do it right so. now. Because um, I imagine this will happen within the next week or so. Um, yeah. I think we're going to go for Who That Jazz on the other side. We played the New Era... Um, the original, yeah, original. You can hear a sample of the VIP. Go to N Types Instagram. Go to Chrome Stars um, Instagram because they've both posted it. Little samples um, with a little movie that I said the keys are lot. I thought it was Sim. Oh, so yeah. I, know we're, I know we're waffling, but I was going to pure joke with Sim because. Basically, Sim does all those face app swap things. <laughs> so, like, when it first popped up, I initial my initial thought was like, Joy. and then I was like, oh, it's Entice post because you know when you're just scrolling down Instagram mm. and you see it, I was, I was, oh shit, I thought it was him, bro. I took this, but I'm gonna pop it up right now because I've already done the little side by side of the guy and and, and Sim. I have to remember <laughs> to edit it in. Yeah, it's a fucking joke. Um, I thought it was. Um, he said he's gonna meme me back, uh, so I'm, I'm waiting for it because Sim, when he comes for it, he goes hard. Oh, yeah, I yeah. see him go for pokes, go for youngster. Like he's done some funny shit. <laughs> um, but let's get into the tune, man. N type, Chrome Star, Chrome and type recordings. This is who that jazz the plate business.
Because it's vinyl only and we shit, can't, can't, can't play too much. Can't play for all Although, if you do rip it, you're going to get us going, Oh, <laughs> baby, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I think people would know. I don't know what it is. You reminded me of a film and I can't think what it is. Oh, it's that it's like... one where they're sat opposite each other in that, like... Well, I can't remember the film name. And they're like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! What's it called, man? I don't know. Now you're making me think of is some it... fucking like head and shoulders advert or some. I, I think they. I think one of those adverts did make like a spin off to it. All oh, right. You know what I mean? Like I was. Thinking, yeah. Now you're making me think of. What is that film like, name? It's some. There's a man opposite and a woman, isn't there? And they're in like a diner. Is that the one you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yes. You sound like you've been on some d- dodgy websites, bro. <laughs> Next video is not <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you, what are you, are you sure that's a film, bro? Nah, that is, man. I, prom- I promise you. And I swear the WWE, mate, how do I remember this? The WWE did a little skit of that yeah, for WrestleMania not. 20. Shit. Man, I used to watch wrestling as a kid. Bro. Yeah, I, I, I never really, I just never, I, I watched Royal, I talk, we, we've spoke about this before, I watched Royal Rumble, that was it, like some kid, they were would, banging. Have, some kid would have like a tape or a, or a disc that you could like take, like you'd borrow it, you'd be passing around all your friends and I'd be like, Royal Rumble's sick, like, yeah. I mean, everyone's getting down, but I, I never really, yeah, just weren't for me, man, wrestling, I don't know why, don't know why. I used to love it when it was WF, but then a little bit of WE oh, and then it went shit, but yeah. But yeah, this isn't about wrestling, this no, is about this N-Type is... and Crows <laughs> Who that jazz? Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Mega. Wow. What a fucking like, what a plate you're gonna get for this. Like, that's sick. Uh, mate, what a fucking plate that is gonna. Like, you gotta have in like, your collection. You, I, I just. I thought. I told you yesterday. Like, I thought that some of these things pop up every now and again. And do you know what I mean? Five, ten years ago. I mean, not even that long ago. Pre D Tempo, we we never even had a nah. to touch on these. Nope. Um. You know, and I, I, I spoke about it before, like. And first really really like head like it was deep into dubstep like when i'm i couldn't afford the vinyl couldn't afford it no like no i talk about like a lot of the vinyl that i have i know people i say about my old stuff i do try to reiterate most of what i've got all the drum bass all the old stuff is you know given to me by my dad like i'm very lucky that he had them yeah um, you know he was a vinyl head through his 20s uh it's only later on in life when i've you know a decent job but <laughs> yeah, know, and yeah it's been able to you know, invest in and, and buy the vinyls that I wish. So that's why there are a lot of older stuff that I, I, I am trying to find copies of, you know, decent copies of for a decent price as well because I, I hate some of these, like, Discog, man, them trying to sell stuff. It's just stupid money, man. Um, oh, that, by the way, that, that's the film that... When, when Harry, Harry met Sally. Sally restaurants. With, do you know what? Now you said... I've not even watched the film. Is that blasphemy? I've never watched but it. I know the but reference. I know, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Because it's been me. Like, it's been, like... Yeah. You've seen it in other like YouTubers have cut it in and stuff. Um, but yeah, man, yes. what a fucking plate! That's his ladders. Um, yeah, ladders. N-type Chrome Star, just two don two dons coming together. 
Yeah, well, yeah. To, to just make masterpieces. I bet they've just got silly tunes that they're sat on, man. Yeah. Like, I bet they've got some sick, like, man, Word has it. Shit is Word has it. Chrome might send us some bits. He did say, man. He did say. Uh, and it, well, it was it was nice to chat to them both because they just said yeah I missed, I missed it because I was driving he was driving yeah which is good you, you know you don't we don't we don't go on the phone and drive <laughs> you know no, I've never I wouldn't do that um, but yeah no it, it was good to it was funny because we, we were on video chat as well <laughs> it was like yeah. in, the studio, in Crow Studio well I hope you had a good night anyway lads I said don't have an Indian nice uh, end time ordered so much the night before I couldn't eat it all so he bought the leftovers over and he said they had that much there was enough to feed not just himself obviously he's got enough to feed Crow as well so <laughs> um, they were there I think they're working on uh yeah, working on some tunes. He was cracking open a beer and type was while, Good, while he was, man. It, it, it was frothing everywhere. I think you know what? Must have shook up in the car. Nah, but it was a can because it was frothing. He was like, <laughs> I reckon I'm gonna go. I forgot. Cronenberg. Oh, Cronenberg. Yeah. He's on the yeah. I think he's a bit out there. It's like a bit of the streets. Mine's a Cronenberg, mate. Yeah, <laughs> and he's, maybe he's got a bit of money to fucking whack on the Cronenberg. Mate. <laughs> He's no fucking Carlsberg. Uh, no, nah. Um, yeah, I don't know what, that, I can't remember. Did he tell me? I couldn't. I can't remember. We were chatting about. We were chatting about it so much, man. Just having a laugh. Uh, I know. Yeah, respect to Chrome as well um, for obviously allowing this to come through on the DGs. Yeah, man. Like we said, guys, if you want to support it, that email I will put it in as I will link the other stuff. I'll put the email chrome and type at gmail.com it will be in the description of the podcast in the podcast notes depending on whatever app you yeah. use um, um i'll get this clip out asap so they can use it for promo as well yeah i think so i mean promo for the show promo for them mm. it's all, it all works do you know we could even we could even do this one as like before the show just give it i don't know do it night before yeah or a trailer yeah but like that's like because i don't know how long they're gonna have this um, I think we've got, we've got a week or so. We've got a week yeah, because yeah. so. before they go pressing, I don't. I, I forgot to ask him who they're pressing with. Hmm. What cutting house are you? I'll ask him. I'll ask him. Uh, yeah, out of interest for myself. Uh, but yeah, N Type Chrome, uh, New Era Dub VIP. Go check the clip of that one on their socials, both on on both their Instagrams. Also, um, fucking who that jazz? Just I said it. I like. I, I said to N Type clip for myself. Both absolutely sick. I love the original of New Era Dub anyway, but this this Who That Jazz is kind of it's kind of mind blowing for me. Just had to have it. Got to have mm. it. Amazing. Um, I think. Side note. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he said this. We like. There's one of we're one of four DJs, or, or maybe we're the fifth now. Four DJs have got it, but that's probably including them two. Mm. And I I said to you, I think I presume I think the youngster might uh, might be the other. One of the other two, I don't know. Not many people have got the got these tracks in their hands. This so is why I love you. Got to keep you keep your keep your ear ground. This is <laughs> this is the love, man. Yeah. End type Chrome stuff, legend, legends, and yeah, well, hopefully genuine legends. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. yeah. Genuine. Not just the words. No, because of the Jew bit. I mean, mm. <laughs> let's go back. Um, yeah, big up them guys, man. Right, before you play this next one, yeah? Yeah, what's can going you spend, on? Can you send me that... Um, send me. Fucking hell, you don't have to send it. Can you just pass me the links? The link? Yeah. Africa. Do you know what? Because this tune's hard, yeah? <laughs> this tune's hard. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go. And I'm going to get sweaty. Don't you want some... Do you want some right, guys? No, I got the links. Oh, okay. Links up. you got everything, though, and you? you got shoe polish here. No, hair spray. Shoe polish? I've <laughs> <laughs> got hair spray. Mate, don't, mate look at... If you've just seen the back of that, wouldn't you think, the like, burgundy, that's a shoot polish, bro? I don't know. <laughs> I, thought, I, I haven't used that in a long time. I've never used hairspray, come on. Of course you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, did you see that girl who used Gorilla Glue in her hair? Oh, I, what was that? What well, was that trending? Don't I didn't know. even get it. She has a man, you know? I don't know what that... I, don't, she, I still don't know what that was about. <laughs> she just booking her. For what? <laughs> I don't know. For to a, be a dickhead. For an interview. <laughs> oh... But yeah, bro. Mad. Uh, so next up, yeah. Um, going in hard, bro. Um, we've got an, we've got a, a new dub, the first dub of the show, the only dub of the show. Uh, yeah. We had to sneak another one in there, didn't we? We've got some we're sat on, guys. But just it's hard. I teased it on the Instagram and I said it the other day. Um, look out for some other things will be dropping where there's going to be a lot of dubs. Um, there's some news coming next couple of weeks. Just tease it. That that that's all I'm saying. Um. Uh, Carnage. <sighs> Carnage. I'm such a big fan of this guy. Yeah. A huge fan. He's sick. I love he the Japanese sick. sound for one. Yeah. And Bang. he makes it 
incredible. Mm. And yeah, we sent a, a dub pack through, and I do recommend you guys go listen to one of N Type's recent shows. Um, he rinse. played it. He was it a rinse? Yeah. The rinse show. He played um, Giga Slash. Giga Slash, which we've got, and that's one I probably would play. But he's played it. And it's, it's heavy, man. It's, 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 it's dark. It's, it's fucking sick. I, I, I actually. I'm gonna have to talk to Carnage here, man. We might have to get a little DT special or something. I actually love because it's not. I know it's not quite as heavy, but this this. I'm not sure how much Entai played of it. The second section of the first drop of Giga Slash. I suppose it. I don't know. There's just some. I can't even remember. I just remember hearing the second section. I was thinking, fuck, man. I would love that tune to drop straight into that and do maybe switch round. Have that. Have that mad. <laughs> like I don't know. I just love it. I've played the first drop a lot, so I'm not really familiar with too much with the nah, second. It's, it's the second section of the first oh, drop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, right. it's, like, it's just the second. I, 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 it, it switches up, and I just, I, I love that. But it's probably my more sort of mellow, like roots, like that. Yeah. Because it is hard. It goes hard, doesn't it? Uh, but uh, sort of on the same vein of that track one, yeah. one that you did with Ryder Shafiq on on their LP. Yeah, that was together. Happening. That was it's got that same sort of just yeah stompy. Yeah, which. I, I when I play it in my in my room, I always have this like imagination. I'm playing in a, to a crowd when Massive. I play that tune because it is just it's big, and you know people going off for that one. Yeah. Exactly. Same with this one though. Yes. This one. This is called Mosaic Manticore. Yeah. It's fucked, man. This I don't is, know what that means, bro. This is like pushing heavy, heavy, heavy dubstep, mm-hmm. man. But it's like still in our vein and our scene. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, it's a Yu Gi Oh thing. Yeah, go on. I didn't. Even even know that. Go on. <laughs> go, go on. on. <laughs> Fucking go, go on, bro. bro. I don't even know card, that. I know bro. Yu-Gi-Oh, but I don't know that card. Do you remember? I remember, um, bro, I got the... Uh, did I have it? Or did, I swear my cousin Javez had it. You know? Please someone, tell No, someone had the Yu-Gi-Oh, like, PlayStation game. Oh, like, it was oh. it was weird to understand. It was quite complicated, man. It went, went like, you watch, if you watch that program... Like, cause it was a bit, it was a bit after our era, though, really, cause Pokemon was the main thing, weren't it? Pokemon, what's the? Some of my friends were into the Digimon thing, but I, it never you, really got. They like, just couldn't afford Pokemon cards. <laughs> 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 like, it was just different, wasn't it? I was, I was, yeah. Was, Pokemon was the thing, man. Yeah. Um, still is the thing. Jeez, Mate, see what them Chinese yeah. go for now, man? The mint, mint first mint edition, Char- mint for, for Charizard, like yeah. two, two hundred grand or whatever. Mate. Insane. PSA 10. Yeah, I've watched YouTube videos on it. What's PSA? Um, it's a grading? grading place. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought so. Um, all right, yeah, Carnage, Mosaic, Manticore, <laughs> big yeah. heavy vibes. Just listen, enjoy yourself. Gonna, we're gonna have to find out. Like, is this this mosaic, this Manticore? Is is he sampled a bit of Yu Gi Oh? Have I? Have we missed? Maybe that? we've missed it. Is it or is it just inspired by hit the 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 monster we'll the know we'll know in a minute i reckon when we hear it again we'll probably play. Oh, I've listened right. to it but i was like i don't know that character to be like he makes that sound yeah or, like, or whatever or when he f- i don't know don't know bruh don't know we're learning you ready let's go Pull that volume down on the way for the fucking <laughs> podcast listeners, especially those about the visuals, because that's gonna wreck their ears. <laughs> we have to pull that right down. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was I was just distracted because fucking on fire. I just messed. <laughs> It's about sending some fucking fresh fire. Fresh fire. Big old will. Big old will. Um, yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah. yeah. No, we're recording right now. Mad. Okay. Hey, you, you've gone to the start of the song again. Yeah, let me just go back to that. <laughs> I'll skip that jip as well. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> Are you ready? I've had a couple bit. Well, I say, well, basically, there's a couple beers, mate. I'm fucking uh, on this. You fucking. Let's go.
stuff. Dude. Going back to my early days, that's that sort of heavy shit, man. Like, earlier days. But like, it's like heavy, but it's just brilliant, man. He's sick. But I still got um, uh, uh, like that musical element. Yeah. Like musicality. It's, it's, not got, just, oh. it's not just tear out for the sake of it. No, yeah. It's got that wow, 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 wow. It's yeah. just, yeah, it's, it's really sick. <laughs> dun, dun. Dun, dun. Yeah, that on the that behind it. it really mm. helps the track. I think. Big time. Ding, well, well. Yeah, I do wonder. I got to look at the sample for that, and or or, or, mm. or, 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 or I ask, just ask him like, what why the name, or is it just because he because he, he did Yu Gi Oh or did or um but yeah wow sick just uh, wow you got a you got a if you're not down with Carnage guys um obviously we're dropping a dub here you can't you can't get this one right now um but we did mention it earlier he has just released on um he was the first to kick off the Infernal Sounds Digi release check out his label Vomit Spit alongside Day Zero another Don a couple of the dubs you've got a feat a collabs with Day Zero mm, one's um, untitled isn't it yeah we've got to get Carnage on a fucking guest mix we've had Day Zero we said we would get him on actually we probably just haven't chased him up for it because he probably just before we forgot because it was probably our job to get back to him on it yeah um gotta have him on because i just i love listening through i know uh, all these most artists we've got we've had on uh, got other mixes out there but it's just like i just want to have him on you know i want to have him on he's got what yeah, he's done I, See, I, I know he's cooking more I stuff i don't hear carnage on too many shows actually so it'd be no, nice but, he, but he's been he's done dd streams he's done a couple he has, of things i think he's done two yeah um during the whole you, you're period. always gonna take that man ddd is sick like, yeah you're always gonna go on that shit um and uh, yeah, no, I think he's doing some other bits out there, man. Um, but yeah, you got got just just go go follow. Um, like I said, vomit spit, day zero carnage. Um, All keep, those yeah. Japanese guys are just keep yeah, up to date with um, just smashing it. It's Carnage JP on Instagram. If you want to find him there, you'll follow. You'll find the rest of the fam via that um we just released um we just featured propulsion on the last show which was carnage and day zero's label we did um, indeed bro. feeling that and those sounds um go follow me it's really uh, when, when we say follow these artists on instagram it's really easy because you can just go on uh, who we follow mm. you'll find them t- type in carnage name is in the description and uh yeah look out for what else he's got if you want to hear a guest mix from that madman let us know down below in the comments man um next up Keeping it in the in the Japanese family. I don't think we did this like intentionally, did we? I think I put I, it in like that, but you did. But I I I, I thought about it, it intentionally yesterday. I was like, oh, he's done it like that, uh, but yeah. you didn't. No, it's just whatever. But I thought that made sense because I kinda, yeah. I moved these together. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Next up, Goth Trad. Yeah, he's back. He's back again, back, man. How never gets Goth Trad two times in a row, two shows thought, in a row. We wouldn't thought we'd have it this regular. No, nah, man. Um. Yeah, well, this one we've had on the radar for a long, long time. Um, we we've been blessed with the sort of deep medi packs. Yeah, you like a lot of shoes. Just silly, and they're just silly. We've warned you. We've we've uh, tried to uh, let you know, anticipate the next stuff Medi's got coming along is madness. <laughs> What are you came man. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Honestly, and, uh, so sick. yeah. Um, this one highly anticipated, kind of already out there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been mentioned. It's been featured a bunch. Uh, I see people that noticed um, apes getting a whole ton of uh, support, getting a lot of play out there from various DJs. We we played it in our stream in the uh, half an hour when we did um, electric hawk mix. We did indeed. You you I put that it off in the in the mm-hmm. early bits in the early section right after the yeah uh, the uh, beautiful beautiful lyrical. Oh, yeah, doubles. The, I don't yeah, know the song, name of the, the song. Yeah, um, the song. Um, to but, the moon or something. But yeah, Apes has been getting a lot of support. Obviously, the announcement dropped for the Goth Trad release um, just this past week for us as we we're recording. Um, obviously, you guys are catching this on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Big up our gang who all locked in straight away. Give us some signal right now. Hit some thumbs up and let us know if you're here. If at 5 p.m. you're you're ready and waiting to watch this episode. Actually, yeah. If, you, if, you, if you're here now... Comment down below. Straight away. Within an hour. No, but it. say, Sibo Dread has a huff hat on <laughs> and he loves it. All right. <laughs> what did, what did he get? If they do it within the first hour of the show. They get my love. Some stickers. All my love. We'll send you a sticker pack. First hour of the show going out. First hour comment, of the show. Yeah, All right, yeah. comment that down. 
So that's yeah, that's five pm. I should be back from work. So to check you comment by six pm on the day. Yeah, Send you some stickers. What did I say? Sibo uh, has a know. new hat and Jacob. he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> if you comment that, you allege. Nice. Um, Actually, no, how are we going to get to the first hour? Because they wouldn't have even seen it yet. Huh? They wouldn't have seen it because this is an hour and a half in. If they're watching the whole by show. By 7 p.m. <laughs> they're going to have to do by 9 p.m. at yeah. least oh, right. to give them ch- time. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, I will send them sticker pack, man. Yeah, it's no biggie, is it? Um, but yeah, deep yeah, media. Yeah, by, by 9. <laughs> yeah. Say 9. Deep media absolutely doing bits. Um, yeah, they posted it. It's coming out on the 5th of March. And. Um, I think, yeah, DJ Mag covered it in the in the releases coming up. Um, Air Airbreaker VIP had people just there was um pe- people say. sharing their clips of the boat party. Boat party yeah. yeah, just like just going fucking nuts. Oh, he's high, it's heavy. That's what we're playing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean when he when he drops these tunes, like it is just it's just it's just mental. Like this style, just that relentless. Yeah. That, that we we refer to it only as the relentless Japanese sound. That is essentially what they bring to the game. Yeah, and we know Goth Trad is never going to change. He's going to keep bringing us these smudgy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because we we were saying we did not this we were anticipating for a long time for months, yeah, yeah, months and months. But the album mutations, mm, bro, that is shit. I sent you a screen grab because you did. Like I said, I'm an un- unapologetic. Goth trad fanboy, you are. Um, I don't believe he's put anything out that I've been like meh. <laughs> it's always no, something on no, the release. No, I'm like, always have some. Jeez. Um, yeah. I mean, that's where you go to Japan to experience it, don't you? Uh, Goth trad, airbreaker, VIP. Uh, let's play it. Let's <sighs> please do. Doing. I feel like we should have saved that to a last <laughs> uh, finished off the show <laughs> like, kill him are you dead I feel I'm dead it kind of works that well with mad. the carnage though because they're both mental I told you I needed that links man I was moving around yeah. like a mental case Um, yeah Jeez. relentless tune yeah wow it's that, I, but again like I mean I love the whole fucking thing but the, that it's just the move like the constant switch like that's the second section of that man just like Mm. When it breaks it when it down, it's just, oh, fuck, man. It's a different, just hits you differently. No one, no one, no one does, no one does it like off track, bro. No, I don't know. No, you can't, you can't, do no one could, you can't, when you hear his tracks, you just, you got to experience this. Like, oh, like, you got to experience these tracks, trust me, on a sound. You have to. You oh, yeah. You got to feel them. 
it's not it's not I mean we're here I'm, I'm, I'm great because I know it I know it. and it's like you, you hear it and it takes you back and you feel the sound you feel the sounds but you fully it's, it's a different level man um I mean, we know, we know. Come on, guys! If 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 this is is this the one of the show for you? We know how much everyone's anticipating this one, and um, it's just it's it's have to, it's just a scene wide love for for Gothrad and his sound. I would say um, he is probably one of the most loved producers in our scene, Gothrad. Like universally, yeah. I think. Like any, I've never heard one bad word about him. Yeah, like even even all the like the more mellow like more yeah. mellow heads like the the because the, obviously again with his production just like the, the versatility, um, but but bringing his own yeah his own because because you, you got and, f- and the respect like the manner for bringing oh, him to was like well, the, this is what place, I, like, yeah what I was going to say music, like um like. What are the like? He's from Japan. He makes a very niche genre of music, mm. but yet he's like up here in it. Yeah, that is rare. I know. Fuck, rare. And he's coming to the UK all the time. For, for any shit. of these heads who are like in a in a like not in the UK, not in America, not in you could say Canada now as well, where where you know it's it's at the forefront of our minds. The sound for a lot for a lot. Yeah. The, the, nights and venues tend to be bigger i thought like when i was there the night was very intimate it was one of their smaller ones though i have to say i've got to admit they have because it was a was it a friday night or was it no it was a thursday night and when i think every four shows or every quarter or something like that they yeah. have a big night on a saturday where they take a bigger the bigger room in the club um so and I think they have a bigger lineup, all, yeah, all, yeah. all that kind of thing. So the night I went to was very. I, I kind of, in some ways, I, I much preferred it. I was just like, this is so into. Like I'm in. I'm here in this moment, super intimate. Like feeling the sound. I would like to have experienced the full stack, but I mean, having the double whammy or double that in, in the room it was in, I was like, this is silly. This is just fucking silly. Like. I'm so jealous. It's the next level, but we'll, 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 we will get out there again, man. We're going to yeah. hook that up because I want to link up anyway with Carnage, with Day Zero, with City One. I was kind of good in none of them. Like, I mean, I got to experience Mondai Guy. And Help course, Tram. And, and uh, Help Tram. Yeah, Help Tram. Uh, after Golf Tram, like, Help, Help Tram really was more... Because just bummed his sound, man. Yeah, like, yeah. Just, uh, just... I just can't believe you've been there. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's weird, isn't it? It is weird. Um, so cool. Man. But Medi, man, this one, twelfth of March. Twelfth uh, of March. I'm reading the next freaking thing. That's the next release. Fifth of March. Um, fifth of March. This one, guys. Fifth, fifth, fifth. And um, yeah, Airbreaker and Apes. You've probably heard. If you've not heard Apes, go. Can they see our last our mix from? I think you might be able to go back on their Twitch. Electric Hawk. Pops. But you've seen it out there. Be... I know. Um, CP has had these in the bag. He's put them in his mixes uh, on his uh, Swoo FM show. Um, Goff tried himself. Um, he's he's done a he did a Medi mix, didn't he? Recently. I he did. Yeah. Um, just go on their SoundCloud. You will hear it. Mala Worldwide FM. All of that. Um, big up Medi, fam. Big up Steph. Big up Inez, Mala. Thank you guys. Um, it's mutual love. Big Always to support, the, support what they're doing. I mean, realistically, I mean, the tunes they've sent it, like the stuff called Forthcoming, is just silly that we're not really not gonna cover. There, there is, there's something on every. Oh, it's just you fucking fuck me. And you're like. That last one, you know, the last one that's on is coming out. Oh, I don't know which one's the last one. I can't remember. Uh, off the run. <laughs> that's the amount of what the top to bottom. Now that's the um. Oh, I don't know. We'll do this. That's after the, how many letters it has in its name. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Oh fuck yeah! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you do do this under the table doing sign language down here. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to give that away because that is I. Uh, that I think it's obvious. What. <laughs> what doing how many names really? yeah um they won't guess but, oh because i but thought yeah. there was two with that with, with, when you were doing that i thought there was two oh, but, no. I, but no but it's because i thought you were doing that sorry uh, yeah um I didn't realize i had a thumb <laughs> and a finger oh crap an oh yeah shit <laughs> cut this out <laughs> uh, um also just want to mention uh, go on off topic a little yeah. bit What's have gone? you seen Get darker. Have you seen this today? What about the event? Yeah. Yeah. How cool! I, I commented that? on it. Oh yeah, was you? Yeah. I was like, how have I come? Oh, yeah. I'm ready, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be sick, yeah. bro. I love that. Proper off topic, but yeah, yeah, we're so ready for nights out again. Um, yeah, we'll be fully there supporting that. I'm gonna message Lee about us, maybe documenting it in some way. 
that'll be yeah hopefully we can do something we'll do something like that we need we're gonna get more gopros and ting anyway aren't we trust so. me yeah next up we have leo cap we do on ddd <laughs> that was epic um first time feature on the show yeah, man. Not for DDD, of course. No, no of course. <laughs> They've been on every... Most of them. <laughs> yeah, most of them. Um, Leo Cap. Um, so, too, he's, he's, sent in a, he's sent in a little bit before. Uh, we've had, yeah, we've had some bits from but, him, man. But recently, mm. we've had a few... Well, a bit a bit more, yeah, I yeah. should say. Yeah. Like we just had some had some exclusives, some dubs. Yeah. Uh, some Patreon exclusives. Mate. I don't know what he does on Patreon. Oh, I haven't looked. Uh, really. Maybe we'll have a look at that while the tune's playing. Just, yeah. Just let you know, because he's obviously got a Patreon. Um, I haven't managed to look at that. Didn't think about it. Um, but yes, he's coming now with the Let Me Tell You Something EP on DDD. This one coming in March 12th. It's a little while away. Um, but yeah, he's coming out of uh, St. Petersburg, another Russian. Um, joining the, the ever-growing fam on the show. I should say. Oh wait, he's show. Russian. Yeah, Saint Petersburg, bro. No, I didn't realize. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, we had a brief chat. We we mentioned him um, briefly with Sparrow. With we did. Him. I don't think it would be part of the interview. I think it was part of the pre-chat. Right, we oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we um, did. but yeah, we kind of kind of spoke about that that release forthcoming because I imagine he's had the promo too. Um, but yeah, DDD coming with it thick and fast, man. The the releases yes. before we get into this one. Forty hertz. Yeah, we've got to talk about it because I, I did want to feature this the forty hertz because like we spoke about um we heard it first at Outlaw Festival twenty seventeen the yeah. for the original tune yeah when it before it came out and it's it's it's, it's, it's the tune for me. Of that festival that I always remember coming home on the plane, I was just thinking, yeah. doo, 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 doo. like it's just got that nostalgia to it. Um, it's come with a remix EP, Jay Sparrow, Truth, and a VIP. Yeah, sold out on vinyl. Yeah. you can get digital. So we thought, well, it sold out. We can't, there's no point in featuring. We've got other. We've got yeah. another DVD as well. No, I think you only get the digital if you buy the vinyl. Really? Am I wrong on that? I feel I don't know. I feel like you can get the digital because I'm sure on the last one of these you could get the digital. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Right. I'm not 100, percent but hey, hey, probably can. I might have got that. But yeah, I'm not. Sure. Well, we can check that as well. But yeah, um, distinct motive, an amazing producer. I love his sound. Mm. Forty hertz, such an amazing original. I personally love the original more than anything. That is just for me. Yeah, and because it's got that. It's got. It's also got that attachment, that yeah. feel to a time and place. Yeah, which is it's everything. I think out the remix for me, Sparrow. Sparrow's one. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's on a different tip though, isn't it? Yeah, you know, Truth smashed it as well. Truth, it's a brilliant four track EP. Yeah, you it just it just is. Uh, yeah, and um. Big up Distinct Motive, man, because he, yeah. he's doing bits over on Twitch in the minute. He's he doing is. loads of bits, doing these Friday night streams at the minute. He just had one last night for us as we were recording. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, just keep up to it. Yeah, just, he, he's on it at the minute, man. He's, he's meaning business. Um, he's just had a, he's had a sick Bandcamp Day release as well, just, that was a collab thing, two tracks. Yeah. Uh, was it Moonshine, I think? It's coming to my name. Maybe, yeah. Uh, coming to my name, coming to my brain. <laughs> The name's coming to my brain. I get you, bro. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, um, DDD, just doing bits at the minute. Um, got, got, got to love that distinct motive one. Yeah. But uh, Leo Cap, like I said, yeah, just just been like climbing up on our radar more and more, um, especially since they've been dropping us some exclusives in the DMs. You never know, you might see them out in some mixes, out in some, maybe we'll bring some in future shows. Yeah. Um, uh, have we told them that one of them is called Deep Tempo? We haven't, but he made a Patreon exclusive tune called Deep Tempo. Yeah, and it samples our voice, isn't it? It does. It's yeah. really good as well. I really enjoy that tune. It's good. Great tempo. tempo. <laughs> yeah, it's sick. It is sick. I would look. I mean, he's probably surprised when he smashed it, but I mean, we might, we might save that for a spec, that, you know, a little something yeah. special. And of course, we want to bring a shine of light to his, to his, his DVD release right now. That's what we want to do. It's a six tracker, this one. Um, of course, coming on vinyl and digit, of course, as well as, as usual with the DDD fam, and um, yeah, I remember in the promo for this, it was like like the um the leopard from whom Leo Cap takes his name inspiration from. I tried to search this, bro. It didn't come up very easy. I did very quickly. I just looked at like Google first page. Right. Didn't see much. I was like, just weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. Up. I was like, I don't know what that's from. Um, someone educate us, please. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Is it a Russian thing, like a program, or, or or are we just way are we, are we just not familiar with the show or some 
famous leopard. I don't know. Well, I ain't got a clue, bro. Um, but yeah, Leo. I mean, I said I know Leo's the first. Is oh it? yeah, it's like yeah. But Leo's more lion, isn't it? Yeah, Leo the lion. Mm. Don't know. Like if you do the, you know, Leo the star sign is a lion. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. Change one. Educates people. Let us know. Uh, we don't know everything. Um, we're learning. That's the whole point of the show. Yeah, we are. We learn. Uh, Leo Cap. Let me tell you something. Six tracks. Which one? Uh, I haven't gone. Do you want to read the name? Yeah. Uh, so obviously, let me tell you something. Give me this, which we're gonna play. Mm. Damn. Um, hundred life. Uh, collab with Ghost Tech. Make me long. Oh yeah, of course, Ghost Tech. Yeah. Russia fam. And um, ring my bells. But yeah, man, this tune, give me this, is the one that I when I went through them, I was just like, this is my second track on the second track, man. Yeah, I was same. just vibing to this one, so I was like, yeah, this is the Go one on. we're putting on, hundred percent. But yeah, should we get into it? Let's yeah, drop pre- it, man. Pretty heavy. He's got a versatile style as well. That's yes. what we mentioned with Sparrow. He doesn't just kind of make this DDD kind of sound. He's got some W uh, mm. sort of um, influences as well in his sound. So um, yeah, man. I'd love to check more of that stuff out as well, but sick. Let's go. It isn't. It, that's exactly the. You can't not move. Yeah. You can't not move to that. Whole time. Oh, so. <laughs> so good. Um, DDD, bringing the hype as usual. As, as always, man. Um, here we go. Is this the right name? That's right. That's it right. Is. It is, yeah. Because yes. he's Black Barrel, too. Yes. Right. Um, dispatch. So we make some, make some DMD. Oh, he was at um, Outlook. Oh, what's that say there? Like Outlook Festival. No, yeah. it's just twenty twenty one. No, I think that's like dates of releases. And... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's old. Um, I'm gonna be old at twenty twenty one. Second of August twenty twenty one. I'm so confused. Oh, oh, come in. Oh, he's booked for Outlook. <laughs> oh, sick. Yeah, as as Black Barrel. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's Black Barrel. Interesting. 
Yeah, mm. drum and bass bookings. Learning all the time, man. This yeah. guy is versatile, man. Yeah, he is. Because, uh, yeah, like you said, he's made, made stuff for Navy Cut. Um, yeah. Made stuff for DDD now. Um, these tunes have been roaming around in the Truth Boys sets as dubs for quite some, like, for the past year or so, I think they said. Um, yeah, just smashing it up with these ones. I think some of the tunes are, the, like, are ones that early on when they were dropping them thought it was the, thought it was Truth themselves cooking up new beats mm. on the, because obviously they're relevant to the DDD sound. Definitely. Um, but yeah, man, Leo Cap slash Black Barrel, man, from Mother Russia, as his SoundCloud says. Um, I've been having a hard time finding him on Instagram. That's the best way. Go SoundCloud. And if someone, if people have rightfully linked, yeah, Black Barrel underscore Leo Cap. Um, we need to do a follow back ourselves on Instagram. That's bad for me. Just yeah, done it, brother. Sorry, man. Uh, <laughs> it's a noisy place, these social medias. Mm. Um, but yes, um, Leo Cap, Deep Black and Dangerous. Um so that's it. So, yeah, for 140 so far, I wonder if he'll make his home there with DDD and Navy Cut or will he continue branching out onto other labels? Yeah. Um, be interesting to see how, because some artists play it different, differently, you know, make a home Yeah. Um, with a couple. Um, but yeah, man, sick. Absolutely sick. Uh, we will try bring you some of them, them dubs, some of them Patreon exclusives he sent us, man. Um, fucking sick legend heavy business as well he's going to be on the ddd live stream um which will be this weekend coming for you guys watching it now if you're watching it before the saturday um yeah quarantine sessions actually I should mention it mm. truth of course our boy hypho plastician's going to be on there man that'll be mega because cool. he's been ki- he's been killing it on twitch anyway i've been tuning in quite a few i missed one live the other week when he's reacting to that timber documentary yeah i saw a bit clips of it though when they're talking um, about scream yeah scream was in the chat in the twitch track. yeah was, oh, they were having combat. apparently oh they were going to do something sun- tomorrow for uh, yeah. sunday i don't know if that actually can happen he was going to get scream on twitch oh no nice. and they were going to just talk stories at old school stories. so if that's on tomorrow i'm going to try to catch that if it actually happens um sepia is on there of course um Mesk, back to back woven fawns, Leo Cap, of course, he's gonna be celebrating his release. Uh Chakra and Rocklem's doing a pre production yeah. session. Yeah. So I think we tested one before, didn't he? He did, yeah, man. That's gonna be a sick session, absolutely sick session to uh, okay. to tune into, man. Um yeah. yeah, sick. Can't wait. I might actually just I might Yeah, just, might jump in that one. Yeah, I might just have to stay up for it because it because it's it'd be it's three it starts three PM PST. So yeah. that'll be that'll be like ten. That'll be like ten. Ten or eleven for us. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing something that day, though, aren't we? Oh yeah, in the day. In yeah, the day, I'll yeah. probably be editing at night. Mm. I can edit that though. Yeah. I said that ain't gonna be long. No, true. Nice. Don't you worry, we got something we're coming, going. you know. <laughs> people. Um, but yeah, let's crack on. <laughs> Leo Cap, uh, DDD, half of March. Moving on. But not so much from the family. We've got another vinyl exclusive. Yeah, man, two vinyl exclusives in one podcast. What the fuck, bro? What's going on? This um, is a this is a fun track. I say it's a fun track, man. It's 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 it's. I mean, it's people have heard it in the streams. They've yeah. you know, played it out a bunch of times. They kind of they've thrown it towards the end of like little online streams and mixes just for like a bit of fun. Uh, I don't know who led with Dre or Tristan. I feel like maybe Tris led the way with this because he posted a Game Boy. All right. Picture, which I think was like a little bit of a tease for the upcoming. He posted a picture of his original black and white Game Boy. That I used to have that one as well. I'm good. I need bought it. I wanted to buy one in while I was in Japan and buy all the games because I was a massive Zelda obsession. Yeah. Link, Link's Awakening. Bad boy game. Uh, but um, yeah, he posted it. I'm pretty sure Mario was the cartridge game. So I thought maybe he led the way with this tune. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. But uh, not not hundred percent sure on that. And it, it's funny, like Ma- with the Mario thing, because like Midnight Tyrannosaurus does this sort of thing as well. Like uh, he yeah. picks game samples. Games. He's got a tune exactly like not exactly the tune, but like bit. Mario samples. Like Mario. I think like other I've seen it in like other genres as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Truth Mario dub is coming on a uh, ten inch white light uh, white label vinyl. Yeah. Um, vinyl so yeah, vinyl only, no digi for this one. Um, of course, apart from yours truly, you know, we're so yeah. fucking blessed. We are, I know, but I do. I, I want to yeah. kind of just make sure I really appreciate the truth, yeah, 
boys, Dre, Tristan, if you're listening, um, it's 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 a, it's a pleasure. It is a pleasure, you guys, man, and respect highly what you've done with your your brand and you know everything it's, with DDD and, and but themselves as yeah. truth. Like I'm not just thinking DDD, but like themselves as truth. And, it's and, I suppose for us, it's like it's just to like look up to them what they've achieved with deep dark and dangerous like yeah and bring, m- many of the other labels yeah. but we have to we all we, we all got to be real there's a there's a reason why they're, they've led the way with the twitch, twitch streams yeah. and their audience and supporting artists like people can say what they what they want about like the american folk sound or like the or canadian or sort of north north america pacific there you know yeah over, the, over that end of the world sort of lead sound and, and uh you know whether it's visuals or um branded you know yeah merch all of that kind of stuff in this lane because it is different from over here you know mm. a lot more um we're just a little bit more all black hoods up yeah low down sort of low ceiling smoky small venue kind of that's the core of what but I, is I, here at home but i, I yeah. mean you could just can't you can't respect what they've done they can't what i do like about do you and dangerous though is they're on this sort of, they've got that sort of American, like the, you know, the clothing they wear, stuff like that, you know, in the scene. Mm. But they do it in a subtle way, not to, not to the extreme of an EDM scene, if yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. It's yeah. still kind of still in within this sort of even, deep I don't even know what step. EDM is anymore, to be honest. I don't even like <laughs> To be honest, there's much. some things I see on that and I'm like, fucking hell. But I don't know what it is, it's just, it's so vague. Electronic dance music. That, yeah, well, that's everything. Trap, <laughs> basically trap, heavy dubstep, and like anything. drum, all like their drum bass, like yeah, anything. anything that categorizes. I yeah, I just don't. But they do it in such a great to... way. The merch is beautiful. I love the hat, actually. I mean, you see me yeah, wear yeah, the hat yeah. every episode. That's why I change it once. So you, like, you, you got the original, like, the Disciple t shirt that you wrote. I do, yeah. I have a Truth Disciple t shirt, yeah. But yeah, yeah, just in general, I mean, just in terms of what they've done with the for the stream, like, they've kept a lot of people. Like, people have said it about, uh, uh, you know, ourselves and, and Sparrow complimented us in the, in, the, in the Rinse interview about keeping people entertained through lockdown. But, you know, uh, I just what we've done is, is is very different. You know, what we do with the podcast mm. in terms of promoting the sounds mm. is very different oh, from what they've yeah. done with. with I, I know they're, 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 it's just us two here. I know they've got management because you, 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 were, you, went, you were on it. Well, I mean, it was deep tempo, but yeah. was first lockdown when we couldn't do this. Yeah, I suppose Our living so, yeah. arrangements were, yeah. were very different. So you had to, I didn't even have any equipment to I doubt, for yeah, us to I, do the mix yeah. together. We, we thought if I could get some in, we could like stitch it and you do the first half or second half. And you know what I mean? But it just didn't work out like that for and the then, first lockdown. And we weren't classed as a business then. That's why we couldn't do it. Whereas now we are and that's why we do it. Oh, yeah. That's that true. is why. Simple that's, as that. That's true. We weren't official. We weren't official, no. And yeah. I don't know if you were allowed to then, is it? Because it's now in lockdown well, rules. Well, you're not we were official, February. We were official, I don't know if you were allowed, though, maybe back then. But now, because it's a business thing, you're allowed to do it. Mm. As long as it's business related, which we are. Because we are a business. Registered and limited. If anyone's wondering. Yeah. Look us up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pay our taxes yet. We haven't yet, because we, yeah. we haven't yet. <laughs> yeah. a year. Um Truth, Mario Dub. <laughs> oh, no, what the fuck? I didn't know that was gonna be as sick as well. I thought because I've drank quite a lot, it wasn't gonna be that good.
It's that second section of the first drop again for me today. It's, it's just one of them days, yeah, man. Yeah. But I like the percussion, man, when it comes in. It's, you got a dog? Is that your dog? Nah, it's next door. You say your dog's not that loud. Nah, it doesn't do that high. Nah, your dog's too old to do anything What's... that's high. <laughs> Mowing or something. Well, they're doing something else. So, sorry yeah, if you can hear. You might not be able nah, to. Nah, I'll but... probably be able yeah. to uh, denoise it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Tris, I, yeah, I was right. You posted I didn't, do you know what? Because I didn't click on it full screen, I didn't even clock that it's sitting on the white label vinyl. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's pressed on. I yeah. just looked at the Game Boy and the and and the the cartridge for yeah. Mario Land. I didn't have the original Game Boy. I had the color. That was my first one. Was it? Yeah. yeah no, this was. I mean, everyone because I remember my my cousin Jake and like a few of my friends like getting the color Game Boy, and I just always stuck with because it you could put the color games in the black and white one. It was just that it was black and white. I was like, and obviously. It says colour, yeah. It was like two hundred. Well, it wasn't even two hundred fifty-six colours, was it? It would have been half that, like mm. it would like the original laptop, like all those. Yeah, it wasn't like proper colour, like what we think of today. No. Nah. Um, but it just there wasn't wasn't really any need. The cartridges fitted. It was when they went up to like the advanced, the game cards shrunk, didn't they? Different size, so it made people look yeah. great to get the new games. But I, I by then I wasn't really playing on Game Boys. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I just kept the original man. Just smash like Tetris. Um, like I, said, I had Super Mario. Um, and uh, yeah, Link's Awake, Zelda, Link's Awakening, and that started my um my Zelda like obsession because I went N sixty four and played the Queen of Time and Major Romance. Yeah, I said about that. Like, it's kind of good because I didn't really like the Wii as a console, but of course you had Wind Waker and all that on there. I love the Wii, man. I didn't really like it. Man. In. Yeah, I think it, it was one of those ones that was like I found it fun when you had like a house full of people, and but yeah. if not, I I didn't just I didn't like the Wii. As like a solo sit that like I never had it. No, my sister had it, but I never yeah. had because she was younger than me. Um, but yeah, I never I never had it and didn't buy games for it. It's just what she had. Um, yeah, man, Mario Land. They've done them them fucking bits with it in it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Tris. Yeah, Tris. Post on truth. I've seen Tris. Like, this is my original Game Boy I had since he was ten. That's mad. And the first car I owned. That's sick. Which man. is fucking sick. Yeah. So good, he still got that. I wish I still had mine. I feel like I donated mine, because I, 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 I do. I did that with my early PlayStation as well. Mm. I donated to like a, I'm not gonna say, like families in need sort of thing. Oh, right. like, something something like that. Because I, I weren't, I weren't playing with it anymore. Oh, so I was outside all the time. I've still, I've got the SP version under my bed still. Yeah, the yeah. flip one. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I forgot about that, but mm. mine. Got Pokemon Green. Oh. Green Leaf, yes, classic. Yeah, but I mean, po- that's the other one. I had Pokemon Red when my cousin had yellow. Who had some? I had Crystal. One of my mates had blue. Crystal was you, my favorite. So you were the next one up, as yeah, well, right? because it was um, red, blue, and yellow. Green. It was green. Yeah, I started on Crystal. The first one. Yeah. And then I got Leaf Green after. It was good because if you, you, it was good if you had friends there at the other one because you get the trade, you get the trading cable in you. Yeah, you, you go to the Poke Center and trade. <laughs> yeah, it's mud. Um. Yeah, and battle and all yeah. of that, which is just sick. Because yeah, there were some you could only get in certain games, which is why they wanted you to buy them. But it didn't yeah. make sense because then you had to buy more. You had to buy. You had to have another Game Boy to have to do the trade. You can exactly yeah. do it within the same console. Um, but yeah, you could say you could tell how old his Game Boy is. It's got all the scratches. On yeah. Mine was mine was battered like that. I was like they were chunkier as well. They were they were nice oh, to hold them. The colors, yeah, they're thick. But like, the colors I always found like. You know, I didn't even got big hands even as a kid. But I found it. I found it weird. Like when I would hold like someone else's. It just didn't feel nice. It was like it's like going from I mean, like the original Xbox controller to the PlayStation. It just felt like a little kid's thing compared to mm. the Xbox. I always found that nicer. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. But that was, that was just me. Mario dub, white vinyl. Um, I don't know how many are getting pressed of these. No, nah, you haven't got any And we didn't have an exact date, but when we got it, it was within the next week. So you've probably heard the announcement. They've teased it there. The official announcement for the date. It will be dropping within the next week. That one, um, so ahead of the Leo Cap release, I imagine. So look out for that, you you guys who love DDD. Turn post notifications on. Don't miss out. I'd probably buy this one straight up because it's just it's gonna it's gonna fucking fly out the door. This uh, big up truth, big up the DDD fam. Moving on to the next one. Um, 
the next from the Russia family. Mate, I swear this guy's been on like every episode in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, one of them. Actually, yeah, one of sure. them. Um, but no surprise that these two are collabing. Um, we've got the next monster from Wheel and Deal. Wheel and Deal records. Big up N Type again. Again. Back on the show. Yeah. Uh, well, but in, in, back, in a, yeah. <laughs> back on the show again. Yeah. On this show. Yeah. On this show, um, we've got Odd Kurt. And 90. 90. See, 90, man, is getting about. He's yeah, getting about. He's yeah. making fucking sick collabs with Odd now. On Wheel and Deal, a huge yeah. label. Two-track EP, isn't it? We're going to play Earthquake second drop. We also yeah. have Gundalo as well, which you can listen on your SoundCloud. I think there's some rinse rips on there. Yes. You can listen to. Or just, yeah, the end type show. Yeah. Um, you, had to, you had it in there. But, um, yeah, Odd Cut, Odd Cut it's just... Mm. I mean, he's not on... He's just been on Wheel and Deal, right? He has, yeah. yeah. He's just been well, on I Wheel and Deal. The, so um, I did that little South Park thing that got took down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, he's back, man. No, no surprise like that. This the the this sound is for entire like he, he's yeah. About, he's about this it's, yeah. It's about this shit. Um, this this level of chunkiness. Um, earthquake. Yeah. Just... yeah, second drop, man. Let's yeah. just get into it. Second man. drop on this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I really hope they've got more yeah, odd cut ninety well, together, man. Collabs. collabs, yeah. You yeah. know they, you know they have. They didn't just cook up one or two tunes. No, they got some in the bag, boys. If you've got any exclusives, you need tempo, boys. Need that for some mixes, yeah. Please, sir, give me all the dubs, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> give me the dubs. I they're, want the dubs, please. They're naughty, man. Like both of them coming together. Yeah, they need more of that. Sick. I want. Uh, do, they, do you know if they live near each other, or do you reckon they made this together, like together or over the not... internet? That's interesting. I no, feel like the no, vibe could be different I when you're together, I don't... like how Chrome Star and M Type do it together, mm. like actually together. Mm. To go for, to get for. I was trying to save time. <laughs> 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 wow, 
what a classic Ali G. Ali G keeps coming up in every <laughs> like every reference lately. Yeah. Yeah. Tu que far? Bayat Torres. Bayat Torres. Batores. Tu go far? Tu que far? Sorry. Back on it. Uh, electrocuted. Uh, <laughs> what <bit now? laughs> <laughs> Odd cut, man. Really no, him as well. <laughs> Sorry, fuck's it. Right, yeah. We- Wheeling deal, bro. Um, this is this is is this coming on vinyl, bro? Must be, must be. We didn't get much info. We just nah. know it's fifth of March. That's what you just put it in WhatsApp. Yeah, we just got it in the WhatsApps, didn't we? Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I I think so because he does them all, doesn't he? No, I'm sure he does. Know. Man, you want to fight outside out? Maybe, like, yeah, but a two tracker. Is there more coming on this? Is that what nah, that's got? it? That's it, man. That's two tracks. Yeah, that's I'm pretty it. sure. I'm pretty sure it's a vinyl, man. Yeah. I don't know what you mean. Well, I'm getting it if it is. Mate, you go. Yeah. And the other one's sick as well. What's cool? Gundalo. Yeah, Gundalo. It, is, it is a vibe. But I think, I think that, that one, we're in agreement. That one's slightly edged yeah. it for is Earthquake. It's just yeah. got that. Yeah, it's just got that. It's got that <laughs> man. Oh, God. Dangerous. That's a yeah. dangerous rhythm, man, to drop. In the dance, um, Oddcut ninety again, guys. If you're not following them, go so out. Oddcut's just Oddcut on Instagram. He's really easy to find. Ninety, he's changed it up. He's got like two X's rather than nine. <laughs> yeah, he's no. changed it up, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Um, but we follow him. It's easy to find, guys. Um, go support these guys. Go follow them. Keep up to date with their tunes. Let us know how you feel about that one. Um, next up, next up. Yeah, this is fucked, man. We got another Donny on the show, <sighs> and uh, we'll we'll tell the story when we this came through. Do you remember the story about when last week when we were going through stuff? Oh, yeah. And this came yeah. through while we we're doing it, and while I was it. listening to the tunes while whilst you weren't, and yeah. just reacting to them there. And yeah, then I was yeah. Just like, <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> this is another thing. I was like, this is another one. Don't record thing on my phone. Wait, no, I don't no, think don't even shit. Off. You yeah. captured that moment. Yeah. Yeah, because you downloaded them. For, we were going through, we were sorting out some music, like a lot of stuff, a lot of, a lot of special things we've been receiving. Mm. Some of these big tracks that are in the show right now that we're getting yeah. hyped about, but some, some many others. Yeah, boy. And um, yeah, we're having a little planning day, weren't we? And uh, yeah, yeah, you downloaded these first and you were just like reacting to it. I was just, I was like, you're right, bro. Because you were like, what's this one about? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, four tracks. Uh, this one coming on Ghost Town, of course. We haven't even said it is oh, yet. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it's Casper. Of course, it is. You just said Ghost Town. Yeah, Casper. That's uh, it, Donny. Casper, um, man. Ghost Town. System, System failure. EP. EP. <laughs> uh, 19th of March. This one. So it's a little while away. We're a bit early on this one, but. You know, man. Maybe, maybe we'll sneak another one in on that. Yeah, show. I did. I did say to in the email that we're going to put it in this one potentially. Um, but yeah, system failure. Four tracks. Broken system. Silence them. Babylon Bill. Cut that. Um, all of them. See. Yeah, good. Yeah, all, all of them. See. Yeah. Monster vibes. Proper Casper sounds. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. It's just heavy which business. One, which one are we going for? You, you picked out of a current I think was. Broken System is my favourite. Okay. Yeah, I think that this one... Yeah, this this one's... Not going to have a wife form right there, you know. <laughs> I, think, I believe this is the right one. Um, either way, like we said, they, they are all sick, man. Um, some have got some crazier build-ups. Um, but I think this one... I think majority of our audience would be in agreement. This yeah. one just edged it, I believe, but maybe not, man. This is subjective. Man. Well, I think there's another one for me, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Um, I think I think um Babylon Bill was the close one behind. Was it? For, was the close? Was the set? I think that was like after Broken System. I if I had to, like this is me having like I believe. Oh, it was that or cut that. Oh no! Yeah, went with there. Oh no! In a sec, which one? My two favorites were. Okay. Broken system. Yeah. I know you were in agreement. And cut that. Mm. Maybe it was cut that for me. Yeah, I think it was Bad Bill. Maybe it was cut that for me. So wait, is this the one you want, yeah? Broken system. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, um, so yeah, Casper, Ghost Town. We mentioned it. We did the live stream with him at New yeah. Year's Eve. That set, you can't go look back of it. They are for live only. I believe there's, I believe they're going to do more, though. Because um, obviously that was ticketed. It was paid to, to see it and experience it. Uh, which is just amazing to be on, you know. Was it, yeah. we, were, we were like, if this was a real life event, we'd be like, 
Oh god, no! A bit overly gassed, <laughs> out of our depth. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was sick, that. man. It was nice and and, and type and um, Hatcher like message. Oh yeah, and, like, like I said, doing us proud sort of thing, and it because we we opened it up, uh, and of course they they were on it back to back together. That was fun, man. It Watch. was originally N type, wasn't it? And then Hatcher joined, yeah, yeah. and they went back to back, and the Whittler was on it, Truth, Casper, uh, yeah. and someone else wasn't there. Fuck. Easy bait. Easy bait. I was. I kept thinking lazy, lazy, lazy bait. Lazy. I oh know. I knew it weren't lazy bait. <laughs> we got there. We got easy that, bait. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It was sick, man. It was really good. We didn't stay up for all of it ourselves. Nah. It was so. It like went on to all like. We were on at eleven, morning. weren't we? And it was like New Year's Eve night, so it was kind of like. No, it was the day before. Day before, sorry, yeah. yeah. But I was, we, I was drinking that day. That yeah, night. that yeah. was kind of like my New Year's night first. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Broken system. Casper. Let's, Let's go. I would say that one is the more deeper, deeper, deeper tune. Deeper. Uh, deeper. It's like sepia and deeper. Sepia <laughs> going deeper. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what happened there. Um, the other three are a little bit more wow, mad shit. Bit, bit of, there's one that's really wonky. Really, like that. Number four. Uh, I haven't got the numbers on here. On the is to cut that. That's the oh, one yeah. that was like, beep, 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 beep. that's mm. mad. That's crazy. But yeah, man, Casper, what a guy, what a fucking shoe, uh, what an EP, four yeah. tracks of everything you, there's going to be something here for you, I believe. Yeah, then, I think, I think that's it on this EP, there is, there's something for everyone. Yeah, that's I awesome. think more of the deeper heads will probably like this one we just played. Mm. People more in the rhythm scene will like some of these other ones as well, though, for sure. Yeah. 100%. Especially if there out. are any rhythm heads listening, that is. Maybe, yeah, probably not. We might be a bit too yeah. mellow for them. <laughs> yeah, a bit too mellow. Um... So we do have something coming towards the end of the show that I haven't heard yet that you've, yeah, you've warned yeah. about. So we'll get to that though. But yeah, Casper, Ghost Town. It's, we have the official release date for this one because the last one was the vague, wasn't it? Yeah. Never, and people were messaging us for like three, like, when's this out? Yeah, we're like, yeah. oh, we don't, it was meant to be this day, we believe, but I think something's changed or just promo for it, getting things up and running with Ghost Town as an official label, I think. Um so yeah, 19th of March, if you want to go cop that one. Listen out for the other clips. I'm sure there'll be lots of promo via Casper's socials. You know where to go, people. Yeah, man. Next up, um, moving on, a project I am so excited Love for, it. man. This one's a little while away as well. This one's coming 15th of March. I mean, a lot, some of these dates, man, are past our next release, our next yeah. show, which is 10th. Yeah. So that'd be interesting what the next show is going to yeah. be like. Um, but I mean, we just we just had to get these bad boys in there, man. We, it's, it's just excited. Uh, this new label, run by two familiar heads, we featured uh, everyone so far because it's been absolutely fire. Um, Bass Kraut 
Yeah, another fantastic fucking Basquiat release. And, and this is one of my... Well, it's my favourite, man. He's one of my right. favourite fucking producers. You going to ask me who it's by again? Who's it by, bro? <laughs> Ram says... Yo, yeah, Ram says... The Who's tune... Okay, straight up now. The tune, yeah, that's the title of it, is fucking sick. The second section just gets me gassed. It's the sick. second drop gets me gassed. The first drop gets me gassed, but this, this when it does that sound, you know, mm. that sound... We're not going to play that one because you can go listen to that on Dubplock's channel, I think, maybe very soon. Because um, he did say in the email that he will be putting, pr- premiering that one on Dubplock's yeah, channel. That, that's the A track, the one track, right? Yeah. Yeah. But we're going to play your probably your favourite track, right? No, it is. Yeah, it no, is not your, probably. It is my favourite. Uh, Urban that. Sunset. Yeah. It's got... Oh, what's the, what is the samples of, in it? Did you it's, got, it's, got, it's got tons of break, like break B. It said basically, because we, we spoke about this before, there was a connection where Ramses shared um, a clip of us for, uh, early, like when we first featured him or second time we featured him on yeah. the social. And a mutual friend of ours, Al Harris, that I used to dance with in Bournemouth when... Man, I thought he was that b boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a body pop out, oh, how sick he was, sick man. He, he'd, he'd be like, he'd just do some mad shit, just make something up on the spot. I'm like, go on, try it. I'll be like, bro, you just fucking nearly broke your shoulder. No, <laughs> um, he's, he, was, he was sick man, yeah. Um, him, Kasai, a bunch of the other boys mentioned it before, so yeah, I think basically, Al, Al then went to um, the Netherlands to, to study. You know, I think he went to uni there, right, after Bournemouth, so that's how he met. Mr. Ramses. Nice. And they became B-Boy friends. And so I believe, if I'm correct, bro, the inspiration for this track, Urban Sunset, and a lot of the samples, the sample just come from, like, you'll hear it, you'll hear it. It's come, it's come from a lot of, um, just off the top of my head, you know, just all classic great beat funk, the stuff that we, you know, we would dance to, man. Right, yeah. Um, a lot See. of the shit that got on the vinyl from from the old Popsy. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, some electro rock, all of that. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Urban Sunset, Ramses, Bass Kraut, and um, this one, 006, coming on the 15th of March. Yeah, and we will say as well, just What's quickly, on? Yeah, there's Yeah, Smell, Man oh, of Freedom, yeah. those who were seen dancing, which we had a dub for a while. We featured on the dub special. We did. No question. And you did obviously... a wheel like this, and we zoomed down your face. Oh, yeah, that was <laughs> You're like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'll put, I'll put it in it, but... <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah, Urban Sunset Ram says, here we go, Bass Kraut, big up, Hebe, big up, fucking Peter from the block, everyone, yeah, blah, clap, oh, I got my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> This show's so two and a half hours long. Three hours. Oh, <laughs> fuck's sake. Nice. <laughs> it's at about two and a half now. Yeah. So, sorry. Let's go. Sorry, yeah. I know you're gonna dig this.
with Mega. <laughs> Absolutely Mega. That's up there with um, instantly one of my favorite Ramses tracks. I think of Big Boy. Um, Big I love that. Sure. Those who we've seen dancing that dub we played on the yes. show, I do love it. But I think, that, yeah, the, those, I mean, the EP is amazing. It's absolutely it is a amazing. Fancy, yeah, brilliant. EP. Um, even if you just want to get a sense of Ramses the sounds, if, if you if you're not familiar yet, even if you've been tuning in the show, if you're not really dug in yet, um, oh, well, you've got I, to grips with it. I'd say Ramses is another one where you hear a tune, and you think, oh, that's, that's Ramses. I think that's Ramses. Like he's yeah. got that, he's got that sound. I know, it. I know what you mean. He's got his own little, yeah, his own little vibe going. And I think we we have still got a couple of dubs in the bag of his man, and, oh, and, mate, and, yeah. and a couple that are, there's, there's collabs that we featured in some mixes. Um, mm. I think we put one in that Casper mix actually. I think I did. Yeah. Part of my mixes. You put uh, a Grau Winkle one in as well, Cola. Yeah. And there's a there's one um, an untitled one that I've put in a, a mix from my own mix. Oh, as well. Yeah, I know what and the untitled ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, no, we don't know. It's probably got a name by now. This is the problem. Mm. Sometimes tracks come out and we never even had the name because it got come to us as just an untitled V1 yeah. or something. Um, but yeah, that that by far Urban Sunset instantly, instantly one of my favorite Ramses tracks. Um, killer. Um, probably gonna have to get the vinyl for this as well. I haven't had. I admittedly, I've not got a bass out. I don't think yet. there's a vinyl for this one. No, don't, I don't, don't think there is. You know. No, I thought they all were. No, no, they're not. We said we spoke about this on the podcast before about bass kraut is not always gonna be vinyl. Oh shit! Oh that? no, duck clock is now, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So this, I don't. I'm. I might be wrong. This could be. But you'd probably have to go on the SoundCloud in a minute and have a look. I'm going to be upset. Really. Have a look. I should do it now. If I go to SoundCloud there, fucking have a little. So I just put in Bass Crew. Bass Crew. Bass Crew it. And then. Yeah, because it would be in the notes if they were. It would be in the notes. Uh, go on tracks because it's not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It'll be a should. There you go. Yeah. And then go on the notes on the. No, I don't think it is, mate. No. I don't think it is. Ladders. Yeah. Ladders. I always say it's at work. We always call it triple ladders. Maybe I can just cut it myself. Yeah, yeah. So it's um, no vinyl then. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Cut it yourself. <laughs> yeah. No, just yeah, just cut a dub myself because I'm playing. I'd have that and hey, what would I put on the other side? Oh, you like... can get though. Oh, you can play. Can you buy that one? Those who seen yeah, you can buy uh, those who are seen dancing now. Yes, buy that now. you can pre-order that one. If you pre-order, I think basically yeah. the the EP well, then you'll yeah, get. Most just buy track. Yeah. Think you just buy yeah. track. Yeah. yeah, I think because when you release it, Bandcamp does that. Because you can buy them individually, they would have had that set. But I think if you pre-order the whole thing now, you'll yeah, you'll, to you'll grab that. that one now. Yeah, yeah, sick man. Uh, big up Peter. Big up Pepe. Big up yeah. Ram. So go check our last uh, dub special three if you want to hear those who are seen dancing and uh, some we're really wonky and pretty tipsy in that one. Yeah, uh, like that I was in my back garden in the summertime. Last summer. Yeah. Uh, right. Big up guys. Big up Ram says bro. Honestly, I I, I fucking love uh, yeah. Sunset. Next up, yeah, we've got to try and rattle through these because yeah. we're being long. Yeah, next up, we've got uh, next one article. Yeah, man, sick, really love this one. This Proper. was sick. Yeah, um, it's the next digi release from them, isn't it? Mm. They just had uh, AXH. Yep, he was the vinyl one. This is the digi one. Right. Make sure I get that the right way around, I believe. Or is this the vinyl one? I'm not sure. <laughs> It would, well say, it would today. say in there, wouldn't it? I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah, it would say if it was getting pressed. Um, but any, this is next from article, man. Um, Monty. Yeah, yeah. First time feature on the show. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Welcome. fam. Um, this one coming out on the 12th of March. Um, sort of dubstep slash grime collaboration with none other than T-Man. Mm. Manchester Donny. He's done stuff with Haifa before, yes, I believe. Yes, um, is, is, any, is he part of Levels crew? But the levels, man. Is he, is that? Yeah. Pretty sure. He was on that concert collective yeah, one, is. wasn't he? Yeah. With the one where it was like revenge porn and shit. And when we did that little clip. Oh. Like, Kai phone. You needs. mean the clip? Yeah, maybe it's not that that one. He's not on revenge porn. He's on a different. He's yeah, on yeah. the other one. I'm on the yeah. clip. Yeah, yeah the tune. crazy tunes. <laughs> you did that funny clip. <laughs> um, but yeah, Monty. Yeah, this one, it's, um, it's a two tracker. Um, the track's called Apollo, features T Man. And then Mystic State have done a remix of it as well. Sick. But we're going to play the original. Yeah, original, man. The original. Big up Mystic State, though, as well. I always bring in there. Yeah, it's it's sick, sick remix. And of course, had releases on Article, Dem's House. Um, yep. Last year, was it last year? It was last year, wasn't it? Was it Tomic Hall? Was, was it Tomic? Yeah, where there's yeah, the Tomic Hall. That's right, yeah. Didn't that get a vote in Dublin? Yeah, yeah. That's where I'm getting my brain yeah. from. Yeah, yeah. Because I think it beat out 
No, it weren't my favorite of the no, you're just about article. Yeah. yeah, but that was a tough choice because they were also like my top label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Considering the names they brought to us, so yeah, yeah, it was just a tough one. But that was like the mutual thing. Yeah, man. Uh, Monty, T Man, Apollo, lyrical sickness. Let's go, man. Listen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo. T Man, Monty. Aim it high. Yeah. Higher heights. Get it right. Mission. Listen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Watch me take control, get straight in the zone of my own man, there's no mistake in my tone. I spray till I'm old and he shape and he mold, run my own way, not in the way that I'm told. Running this team like Souza, no clown in my can't take me from a joker, it's up to me when it's over. I'm out here trying to get colder, still a shower man, still a soaker, and I work to my own rotor. Out here trying to go solar, I'm someone that's guy's too low for, I don't want what other man go for. I just wanna live by no law, but that's something I got no hope for. So I sit back and I smoke more, but I ain't gonna stop yet, cause it ain't a cost for what I'm gonna get. Don't do it for the pee, but I still collect. I'm a big man, I ride my life there. Live in the tune and alive in the set, then I drink up, then I get high in the jack. When I link up, pick your fire in the deck. They keep trying to stop me, but I never left. Time for the warning, don't with the threat. Time to get scoring back with the net. Get prepped if you're not ready for me yet. Get prepped if you're not ready for me yet. Aiming high like the Apollo. Don't need your help, don't need a borrow. Don't try take me for a sheep, cause I don't follow. I don't follow when I still be here tomorrow. Aiming high like the Apollo. Don't need your help, don't need a borrow. Don't try take me for a sheep, cause I don't follow. I don't follow when I still be here tomorrow. I hear this drop again. Second drop is Nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop me. I'm doing it properly. Now I'm in charge. Going in hard. Going in hard. Bigger than large. Bigger than large. Ain't of a side. Ain't of a side. And you ain't got me. And you ain't got me. Gonna have to watch me. Gonna have to watch me. Nobody can stop me. Nobody can stop me. Properly, properly. Been on this team from early. Work to my skill was worthy. Been a few bumps on the journey, but carried on. I had to keep it steady. Money never stops. I'm a fighter. I go through like an all nighter. I'm an emperor, I'm a Kaiser. I've seen so many not either. You put your cards on the table. I have to raise with a maple. Don't need your help, I'm stable. You do me like King did Abel. I can tell you're an imposter. You don't wanna see my prosper. You got me till I ain't got ya. So I keep my guard up like a boxer. How you gonna chill for a sec? Don't be around if you drop on the I was vibing to that, you know. That drop sick. It's what in a set. That did, man, I was like, the I whole just, time. I mean, you're out. You're just, it's going off. It's going off. This yeah. is getting pressed on 10-inch vinyl. To confirm. It is. Um, yeah. It is. It's it, it's that initial fluttery, that yeah. that drop. It's, it, that's noisy. It's, 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 yeah, it's just, he smashed that's it. That's mad. Uh, I forgot to be, we, T-Man, on before, on the show, uh, Infernal Sound, Darkim. Yeah, yeah. Collab. Well, I, I'm with the, the one we said earlier as well. He was on that one. The one with Concept Collector, we played two mm-hmm. from that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, mean, I, was, I was trying to think if there's there's others and we yeah. just forgot to nah, yeah. get to mention it. Um, but yeah, yeah obviously he, not, not he, first time on the show. I've seen I've seen him on stage. I think yeah, the whole Levels crew have done takeovers at Outlook, haven't they? Didn't I think they did the stable, was it the stable yeah. one year? Maybe. Well, they were they were random those. Stables. And they were fucking off. Like, were them boys, the energy when they're on stage. Right. Yeah, they do boat parties as well, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're just big old yeah, that's sick. Man, that's yeah, that's that's one of the best tunes, man. That's sick. That's one of my favorite. Like Fuck me, man. The vinyl sold out. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, you bet you wanted that, no? Yeah, uh, well, 
it's tr trouble because I don't when it comes to Vine, it you know what I mean. Certain I mix. I mean, I'll mm. clap mix the digis in a set. Yeah, there's a certain there's some sort of usually when I buy, but there's a rootsy. There's something connected. And I say rootsy. I mean my yeah pre dubstep music pre connection there in terms of sound. Mm. I wouldn't say so much on that. Right, Plus, yeah. on my own level. But of course, if you had it in the bag. Mad. Stinker. Yes, absolutely. T-Man coming in, we didn't. Yeah, sick it. lyrics as well, man. Absolutely. Yeah, proper. I like how he switches up his flow yeah. as well. Um, and with the tune as well, obviously, breaking down. Monty, if you want to support both these guys, go follow and keep up to date. Um, I didn't realise how big Monty was on Instagram. Yeah, he's massive. Man. Huge, bro. Uh, Monty's Beats. Um, Monty S Beats. Um, you'll get him on there. It's from Toulouse. What is that? France. Oh, he's French? Yeah. Oh, Toulouse. Yeah, Toulouse. Toulouse. Um, and, uh, yeah, and then T-Man, as well, he has his real name. And um, I'm probably going to butcher this, bro. If you're watching, please please don't judge me, man. Uh, Tamani. I have it. Gresham. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can find him on their team. But I think if you search T-Man, it will probably come up. Yeah, he's got it in his bio. Uh, and he's, he's followed by a, um, a, a ton of the heads, basically. Um, search up levels mcr as well if you if you don't know about them man on uh instagram man big up article big up kenzo man just still pushing pushing and seeing forward with his his show rinse the sound everything is signing line charge doing bits um but next up okay moving because we're two hours and 40 minutes into this show okay yeah so we're gonna roll for these last two bruvs um Right. I don't know anything about it. You don't know anything bro. about it, do you? It came in last night, mate. Fucking That's big it. up Nightmare and Ernie for sending this through. Monsters mm. music. Always got to support the monsters. I love what, like I said it before, I love how they come on the deep element as well, not mm. just the rhythm scene. This one is more rhythm me. I'm not going to lie to you about this. Mm. But Prima, his it's name is, has this sort of deep wonk to it. Mm. It's not just rhythm. It's wonky dope. You can see, you could see it on a, on, on a night out with a tent, you know. Yeah, and he, he's got some sick dubs from back in the day. Crimmer, man, that I'd love to have. I might have to check them out, like, again, and go through them. Message him, bro. Yeah. yeah. Hey, boy. Um, hey, boy. This one's a quite, I think, is it six tracks, seven tracks? Yeah, One, two, so three, four. Seven. Seven tracks. We'll just quickly go through them quickly. This is out on February 26th. Dread yeah. Project, Witch Hunter, Duck Hunt, Mr. Squid, New Dawn, Silent Whispers, and we're going to play The Watcher. The Watcher. This is it's pretty it's pretty heavy still, but it's good. Oh, it's I'm good. preparing myself. You, prepare. I mean, you get something from that monster. Yeah, you got all the you know. day. I would say Krima, yeah. It's Krima. There is there is a Krima in the dubbest, the oh, heavier yeah. scene. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like it's about ER. This is Krima, K-R-I-M-M-A. He's more wonk. Very wonky. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The Watcher. You ready? Let's go.
What do you think? He's trying to kill off man's with that. Actually, that's bro. mad, isn't it? That yeah. rider, that little riding sound going yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that that's that's what keeps the just sort of keeps it together while all that fucking madness is going yeah. on, man. It's like um, it's like a nice initial beat with a whoa, whoa, and then that just oh, just absolutely melts shit. your face. Um, Probably the more I would say the more more fitting for our show that one than mm, the others. Then the, Maybe there's another one actually a bit wonky. Bit, but we but, but we know for a fact there's people who watch our show. Yeah. Look at all yourselves who cross over, you know. You got you guys don't mind you, you blur the lines of uh, And that that's oh, that's good. Goodness. I'll drop that in a deep set at the end or like middle, just fucking fuck people up for man. That is fucked. <laughs> that, ain't it? that is hard. I know you would, bro. Everyone knows you would, you <laughs> yeah. fucking nutter. Mm. Cut out the nutter. Cut that oh that's good. Never had that before. No, I just <laughs> it just it just <laughs> happened then. Awesome. I said nutter and I was like, hey. Cut out the nutter. That was like cut out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, 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 I was trying my best to find Krimmer on Instagram yeah. just there, but it didn't look like monsters have actually tagged his account on the posts. If he has it, he might not have it. There's like three knows. of them. Mm. Um, yeah, Krimmer, uh, K R I double M A. Look out. Follow Monsters Music anyway. Monsters underscore music on Instagram. No, Monsters underscore dubstep. What did I say? Music. music yeah. It's just, <laughs> yeah. Article music is like still, there's a chat yeah, there yeah. still. Classic man, big up shivers as well. Yeah. One of the head hunter yeah. and monsters, and obviously done two guest mixes for us. The only go check them out if you have not. Uh, we need we need like we need um, some of the the monsters boys like on the yeah, guest mix. Man. Just man. Like, yeah, just something just something different. Wait, like, Pocklips, something different. Pocklips makes grime, he makes deeper stuff. Mm. I reckon he'll be dope for that. You could make yeah, do it like a grime to yeah. Maybe uh, Shem as well. He'd probably cross over nicely. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, definitely. I'll I'll try and get in in the DMs for Check them. that out. But that that one's you think, guys. You got like two days. Oh, this it's is out twenty fourth. So you'll you'll have. It's out now. Is that would that be out now though? What's the date of no? That the show will go out twenty fourth. I think no. It won't. What the fuck? Yeah, well, twenty fourth. Well, when's Wednesday? Twenty fourth. Nah, you're lying. <laughs> nah, but twentieth. So this will be out on Friday. No way, bro. Yeah, I could do maths, bro. <laughs> No, yeah, he's right. That I know. He updated the podcast schedule <laughs> on the website. Uh, producers, labels. If you're trying to plan any shows and you're trying to um, shows releases and you're trying to get support for them, um, our podcast schedule is on our website dtopo.co.uk. Or if you're just fans and want to know when the next one's coming in, though you know it's every two weeks. Um, nice. Right. Have a look at that. We we'll got last one. Monsters. Big up. Last but not least, the final feature of the show, people. Um, we're ending it with um, a lovely little new label that has come out of the Czech Republic. We featured the first release, which was absolutely banging by WZ, mm. um, one of the heads, I believe, of the label. Is his yeah. label, but I think it's is it with him and someone else. I feel like there's there's two people behind it. Might be wrong on that front, um, but WZ nonetheless doing bits. Um, Czech fan. This one, uh, brand new artist to my name. Fizzy. Yeah, I've never heard of him. Yeah, Fizzy it's news. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's from Czech Republic. Fizzy. Yeah, he's local, which kind of makes sense. Maybe they're you know similar to what Bass Crowd are doing. Yeah. with uh, Belgium and Dutch. Maybe mm. they're just pushing the Czech sound, Czech artists, uh, which is great. It's great it's to brilliant. see, man. Absolutely yeah. great because we need we need these different in- people you know, from all walks of life, different backgrounds, different influences coming into the scene. And uh, yeah, this one three tracker. Um, we're gonna play the first one for you. It's called Yo Dub. Um, but you've also got on there Lokshi. Yep. Is that not a type? Of, that's no, that's right. Yeah. That's and right. Uh, Masai Warrior. Yep, that's right. Um, yeah. I yeah. mean, Sha- sick. Mastered over at White Peach. Sick. Mm-hmm. This one. Uh, yeah, Shaktar Records, man. This is their only, their second release. Uh, I imagine look out for the, the Bandcamp. Yeah. Um, Digi only platform, Shaktar at the moment, um, I believe. So, yeah, we, we, we need to, I'll try and find, I'll try and look up track time and see if they've posted about this yet when's it out out now oh, this one, one, it will, I think I don't know if it's out now as in by now the time, by, by the, the time yeah, I think that's what I did yeah um, so yeah yeah yo dub man let's go fizzy fizzy <laughs>
mad. Quite swampy. Yeah, swamp. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah, it really yeah, is. Down in that low end, you kind of... Mm. <laughs> Real the, swamp. All the mid-range just kind of rises out of that. Yeah, and that this tune sort of just goes all the way through. There's no, like, second drops. It's all just, like, a little rider all the way through. I know what you that's mean. That's the tune for this one. Um, that's the start of this tune. Yeah. Um, Yoda. Yeah. Sick, man. I'd, be, fizzy. I'd like to see more fizzy. I like this sort of swampy sound. I know, yeah. Like, really, really. Yeah, I can see you in the mix with this, with this bad yeah. boy. Uh, just... Need to make sure I clarify. Check. Slow back. Yeah. Scene. Scene. Um, not just the check, but the slow back scene as well. Um, yeah, I believe Fizzy is from Czech Republic. No, he he definitely is. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He def- I think that was in the notes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Shaktar Records. Can't find Fizzy on the social, sorry. Um he's not tagged in Shaktar's on Instagram either, but um Shaktar Records is down on Instagram if you want to keep up to date with their sounds to make a little bit different. Maybe something to throw in your in your bag, DJs out there. Um for the mix, man, go and support these guys. Um love these small independent repping where they're from, labels, all about that. All about Absolutely. that, man. Tell your own story, tell your journey. Yeah. And your inspirations. Um, but we'll wrap it up there. We're gonna wrap this up one quite quick. We've absolutely failed massively to keep this anywhere near two hours what absolute bullshitters but at least it's not over three yet yeah it's not nearly over, it's not about two minutes later yeah, no, it's, not, it's not over three minutes three um, minutes fucking wish it was three, three, three hours <laughs> um but yeah um just a quick quick recap rose beef guest mix go check that out um if you have not already um and that interview with jay sparrow on rinse fm big up sparrow for having us on that that was a, a lot a lot of fun um we'll probably try and fun. clarify some of those questions a little bit there in the future um but that but that is it from us well i hope you've enjoyed this show i mean the yeah, tunes for us I, we, we, I, we've been gassed for this one like truly truly gassed for this one and uh, it's been a fun day. It's man. been, it's been this one of my favourites to, to, to record, yeah, I think. Man. No it's, doubt. it's been fun. Probably, probably the highlight of season three so far, some of the tunes in here. Yeah. Um, just an absolute madness. We've got an outro tune for you guys. As always, it's a free download. You can go and copy it and support it right now. It's on Fat Kid on Fire soundcloud it's by a producer who really bounced on the scene for us last year that we loved cameo yes um he's got some dubs man he's got some unreleased bits that we've heard in the mix yeah yeah and check Um, out his guest mix for us as well yes absolutely smashed it um so we leave you with it it's called uh calarav Mm -hmm. um by cameo quick note look out for some news from us coming in the next few weeks as to some content that's coming other than the podcast trust me uh cameo calarav Peace out.